Testing, testing. I got some testing. Like, electronic farts from the, <sighs> in the beginning. Okay. Uh, welcome back to the basement yard. Uh, Danny, how's it doing? Happy National Nut Day. Thank you. I haven't nutted yet. Today? No. I, I don't believe that. No, I haven't. I haven't. I had one of those mornings where I tried to J it, but I, like I, my arm would get too tired before I climbed. Really? Yeah. You Wait, ever have that? How long were you going after it? Were you really, for a while. I for, mean, it sounds like yeah. it was a while if you get your arm tired. Because you do it until, like, you you know, it's hard to inhale and exhale while you're jaying it. You're usually holding your breath. Uh, Yeah, it's kind of like trying to breathe out with your head hanging out the window on the highway. Yeah, it's impossible. It's a little too much oxygen. So that's what was happening. I was doing it, and then my arm got tired, and I was like, oh, I can't do it. Oh, you're like, oh, forget this. Yeah, I, I gave up. I gave up. That's, I got like. That's when you know you're getting lazy, man. I don't think it was just lazy. I just think I, I, my body wasn't ready for like this physical pounding. Yeah, but I don't think that it, there was a pounding. I think that oh, there was pounding. Really? Yeah. Do you do you like? All right, let me ask you a question. Fire away. You know how they say like, oh, you, I'm beating off, but are you like, you're beating? No, like like what do you mean by beating though? Describe beating like, like, like not like smashing it, but I mean like you're like. Like your balls are flapping around is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, I'm jer- being- yeah, I'm jerking hard. Really? You're a fucking gentle jerker. I, I mean, I'm trying to go easy on the guy. Really? I'm not no. trying to hurt anybody. No, I, I mean, I pound this thing out. Really? Yeah, it's part of it. And there's like a sound it makes. Not a sound that it makes, but it's aggressive. Well, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking. I, I mean, yeah, sure, there could yeah. be aggression. I'm uh, an aggre- I'm an aggressive jerker. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, a two finger squeezer? No, that guy? I'm not, no, no, I'm not. Relax. It's like right over the head and up right back there. No, what am I, a nurse? It's like getting a hand job from a fucking like a like a cricket. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what it would be like. No, that's how nurses like touch dicks, like two fingers, and they just. I remember I went and got checked one time, and Alana was with me, and I Did was. Did they make her leave? No, no, no. I was like, she doesn't have to leave. Oh, she's in on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was in on it. She's seen it. But it was a male doctor, and he was like, and I wasn't getting checked for anything with my penis or balls. What you had like a you had like the flu, and he's like, let me check your dick just in case. No, nah, I went in with like an accelerated heart rate, and I was like, that doesn't come for your cat. That's what I'm saying. That's why was he going in through the front door? I don't know. And Alana even brought it up to him. No, to me, she was like, why? Oh. Why did he look at your penis? That doesn't make any sense. I think he just wanted a peek. That's what I think too. Maybe he knew you, and he's like, you know what? I can get it. I can get away with saying this thing. I think I said that. I said this on the show, but one of the guys was just like, yo, man, you're funny. He was an EMT. They brought in somebody. Oh, oh, I thought you meant after he checked your wang. No, no, no. He's like, dude, you're you're hilarious. It's like, hey, man, that guy's got a bullet in him. Yeah. Maybe figure that out. We're dick, but you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. um, yeah, I don't know. Wow. I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I'm a squeezer. You're a squeeze. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. All right. Sometimes, like, before I, before I nut, I'll squeeze it at the top and then just, like, let it go. Oh. Right, I think we're getting too into. I know. I don't want to say that, that's a point. It is National Nut Day, so maybe you know. That's why it's if National any Nut Day to day. talk about it. I think it's about national. It's like about like is peanuts. It, I was gonna ask. Yeah. Is it, is it like <laughs> nuts or like nut? It's about nuts, like almonds and peanuts. But nobody's gonna. No one's gonna take it that way. No, I think this is a day where people should come. Yeah, I think people should come every day. I don't think I. I don't. No, I don't. I don't come every day. Do you think people should? I mean, hey, go it's for a it. party. Life's a party. Also, like you know how like the no fap thing. I've done that before. Was it no fap November? No nut November. They call it no, no. nut November. Are you trying yeah. to do it? Uh, nah. Nah, I need to have sex. Thanksgiving sex. Well, I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving sex. Yeah, man. You have sex on Thanksgiving? Fuck no. I probably never had sex on Thanksgiving my entire life. That's what I'm saying. Thanksgiving is like you wake up and it's like I gotta see my my aunts and Thanksgiving uncles. Eve though is apparently the biggest party the party day of the year. I don't like going out on those days. Though, but it's a huge party day, so people are having sex. That's why. Oh yeah, I mean there is fucking a foot. One hundred percent. People are coming hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but any day that's like designated for partying, I'm not really like cool. I don't, I don't like it. It depends if you're the party. What? Like, it, like if people are like coming to you, like you can control the party. Like, I don't like to go to bars on like New Year's Eve or bars no, on Thanksgiving. I don't Eve. like New Year's Eve either. Like, I wouldn't want to go out for New Year's Eve. I'd rather like go to like a party. Like yeah, a, that's like what I'm saying. Like you, you could control the environment and like yeah. the bathrooms right there. There's snacks. Yeah. 
they're uh, you know yeah I don't, I don't like it because it's just it just feels weird how the fuck are we talking about new year's where do we go oh uh, from nut, from no nut nutting? it's like nut er, like nut on somebody day I, yeah. forgot. I already forgot the name of the national day i think it's nut on uh oh yeah nut on the, i don't know is a pistachio a nut that's a nut walnut coconut but not kind of ru- like not a nut that's right not a nut, no I, I wouldn't consider a coconut a nut. It's not. It's a fruit. I don't know. If Almond. Right. Cashew. Peanut. Walnut. Walnut. Uh, fuck. What else you got? Pecan? Are, pecans or nuts? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Chestnuts. There you go. All right. We got nine. Keep going. How many are there? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, some uh, seeds are nuts? No, 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 no. no. Those are seeds. Because <laughs> like nuts and seeds, they call them, right? Who? Like it's like nuts and seeds. Well, like they're on different. A, on a food pyramid. Yeah, th- yeah, I think so. Isn't a food pyramid like bullshit? Yeah, I think it's like upside down. Apparently. No, but didn't they say like you're supposed to have mil- like yo? Think about all the shit that used to happen back in the day that just doesn't exist anymore. Like milk gives you strong bones. Now it's like milk will fucking turn your stomach upside down and like make you shit blood. Let me see the food pyramid. Yeah, he loves the Google. He loves it. I like food pyramids. Yeah, yeah. There's only one. This is called the healthy eating food pyramid. What do you think's at the top? Grains and, I don't know, something that you're not supposed to have? No. We also believe that cigarettes were like, okay, we were like blowing smoke into babies' faces on airplanes. So at the top, it's it's basically, basically, it's basically bread, meat. This is bad, dude. Yeah, none of it's good. And it's like milk, eggs, and it's like we're not supposed to have that either. And they taught you about this in school for like a month. Yeah. And then yes. you had to you had to memorize it. You know how much milk I drank back in the day? I used to drink milk when I was thirsty. Unbelievable. Like I wouldn't just have it with cereal. Like I'd come home from basketball and just start chugging milk out of the gallon, and my mom used to yell at me. Yeah, that's a, that's a young that's a young kid thing though. I used to crush milk. Crush milk. What kind of milk did you guys have? Two percent whole milk. Uh, we had it all. We had it all. We had it Whatever all. was on sale. Nothing like skim though. Nothing. Nothing skim almond milk. I just learned about like three years ago. That didn't exist back then. I like oat almond milk. milk. Don't know. I have never had it, but I've never had oat milk. I've had almond milk. I've had coconut milk. Goat milk. I've had goat milk. I haven't had goat milk. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we would drink milk from another animal it's... when our, when our species makes milk. Yeah, you ever milk a cow? Yeah, it's kind of addicting yeah it's kind of cool because it's kind of like every time it, it's kind of like being the best hand jobber on earth yeah because the thing's coming every time and there's a certain way you have to do it too it's like yeah, you can't, you can't cow- just like you can't just pull the titty and it's gonna come out you gotta like open it like you know those blow up toys yeah so you gotta like bite it and then blow bite it then blow that's yeah. kind of what you have to do don't bite a, a cow's nipple yeah, or blow it but you yeah or blow it either but you could squeeze it and then like yeah I and kinda, it makes that sound of like hitting iron. It's like you touch it and you're like, oh, this is so gross. But you're like, I'm but I'm, I'm getting it done. Fat titties too. Yeah, big old udders. Is it, it's weird that women make milk. Yeah. I just out of nowhere. Like, like you, they don't their whole lives and then they get pregnant and then milk. And you feed your child with that. Yeah. We're animals. Your, your kid sucks your titty f- to stay alive. Sometimes on public trains. Dude, one time I was on the train and we got stuck... Um, on there was a long stop over here, but there was some train traffic because it was like the last stop. Right, and uh, so we were waiting around. And it was getting hot. The baby was getting hot and bothered, uh, and he was thirsty and mm. hungry. Mm. And uh, lady just whipped that big old titty out. Was it a fat tit? It was a big old thing. That's kind of dope that she had fat titties. Could have been five babies to eat off of this tit. It was a big tit. I didn't get a whole lot of nipple because it was the baby was you know hogging that. But I definitely caught a glimpse. Not on purpose. I'm not out here like, you know, I wasn't spying on her. Or Someone anything. whips a titty out in public. You you have the right to look. I was I leaned up against the thing, and I was just looking at the whole train. And all of a sudden, I saw, you know, the tip came flying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If, if a titty comes out in public, it's fair game. Oh, yeah. It was a drive-by tit, for sure. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting this at all. It just came across my vision. It was a tit with a baby on it. Like now, if you got closer and like stared at it, then yeah. it's like it, then it's a little bit different. But, yes. you know, or if I asked if there was any more left over or something like that, that's a little crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it, do you get? Do you know how like do like people get upset when people breastfeed in public? Yeah, I don't get it. What are we afraid of? It's I don't like, know. hey, can you not do that here? Where do you want me to do it? My baby's gonna die if I don't do this. You fucking idiot. You feel uncomfortable? You afraid of tits? 
Are we? That's, that's the world we live in now. We're afraid of nips. Should we be able to watch though? Don't watch. I mean, you don't have to sit there with binoculars out right. and your camera phone. But can you glance? Just keep them moving. Can you glance? I think if you're stu- if you're stuck on a train, I want to. Where am I gonna look? That's what I'm saying. But I want to be able to look around the train. I don't want to have to be able to look. Th- I, oh, I can't look this way because you're breastfeeding. What if I want to look at something down there? I don't think everyone has to turn around. Just don't Google at the woman. Like, hey, it's a, yeah, yeah. Like, don't don't be like, oh yeah. But, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't give them the old... I can admire it, though. No, I think there's no admiration. Why can't you add... It, no. It's a beautiful thing. It's just like Seinfeld, where he talks about cleavage. He's like, cleavage is like the sun. You get a sense of it, then you look away. It's the same thing with tits. Honestly, though, but I will say this. You can't get mad if someone is caught staring at your fucking tit. Your whole tit's out. No, there's no just random titty, public titties on the train. So for that to happen is kind of crazy, all right? There's a couple things in this world. A dog shitting, right? We're all looking at that. Yeah. When a dog's taking a shit, no one's like, oh. Yeah. Like, you're like, ew, man. Rubber. Just I guess keep looking at it. Car accidents. Car accidents. You fights. Gotta look, fights you got to watch. Car accidents you got to look. I mean, There's just the, certain things. Rubber that, necking. They named the whole thing about it. Exactly. Um, I think, like, sex in public, you kind of have to watch. Oh, I've never saw that. You've never seen that? I've never seen people fucking... I've seen a dude get a blowjob once in public. He got a blow? Yeah, and they were both homeless. This oh. is outside of my what of my last job. A dirty blow. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't stay in like. Oh man, this is awesome. But I I watched for like a few. How yeah. was that no home blows? It was a. Uh, it was nice to see that homeless people were coming together to to do something to for make each something. Other. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a very nice moment. Yeah, but I don't know. They kind of look like they've been sharing the same box for a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, in many in many ways, you would say. Would you ever bring a homeless person in and, uh, and like spray them down a little bit, like get them cleaned up, give them some clothes? Did you say spray them down? No, you know what I mean. It's not like a car wash. No, like Andy Dufresne. Like you know, you don't want them get them too close to your house, but like you you don't want to know where you live, but you'll like bring them some stuff. I I do that. I mean, I wouldn't let them sleep in my house. What's the nicest thing you've ever done for a homeless person? That's not giving them money. Uh, nothing. Then I I give homeless people money, but I've never yeah. been like. Hey man, you going to Pennsylvania? Hop in. You right. know? What have you done? I've given homeless people my shoes off my feet. And then walked home Yeah. Footless? Yeah. What am I? Footless. <laughs> <laughs> I gave this homeless dude both of my feet. Cut him off right there on the street. Had a surgeon with me. Just pull my foot. It's a clean cut. I gave him my hand too. Yeah. No, so you could jerk <laughs> off. So you could <laughs> So you could beat it. No, but I've given I've given homeless people pairs of my shoes. And uh, okay, why? Because they had no shoes. Yeah, got that. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. All right. You know. Yeah. No. Like I, I like I, I was on eighty. I was on eighty sixth Street. Oh, so you were like. Okay. I was coming off the train. Right. So I like I, I'm kind of in the vicinity of where I live. I just hopped in a cab. Mm. But like, yeah. Is yeah. there a reason why this person struck you? I've seen some. I just keep saying footless. I've seen some shoeless. Uh. Homeless people before. Well, the th- the thing the thing is, New York has a lot of fake homeless. Yeah. Like this dude wasn't fake home. I'm skeptical about homeless people in New York. Oh, yeah, I, I'm a big. I, I'm a homeless skeptic. I'm I a am. homeless critic. Yeah, I'm a homeless critic for sure. How like, homeless are you? There was a Yelp critic for homeless. I'd be like top rated. Yeah, I'd be. I'd have a. a de- if it if it was a monthly charge, I'd pay it. I'd have a deep, 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 deep database on these homos. Yeah. Uh, Did you say homos? No, <laughs> I said homos. <laughs> Home lows. Homeless homo sapiens. <laughs> oh, my God. I'd have a deep database on these homos. <laughs> You'd be like, all right, and uh, that's uh, where can they find you? I thought you, were, I thought you were trying to say hobos. No, no, no. I, I said home lows. Just like, like homeless. homeless homo sapiens. Yeah, you tried. Yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. the word homo is just funny. I don't care what anyone <laughs> says. I haven't heard homo in so long. <laughs> you homo. I would yeah. just be like, what? I never understood why that was like derogatory towards gays either. I mean, homosexual. I know, but it's like we're homo sapiens, so we're all homos. Yeah, man. Been a homo, dog. Born a homo. That's what I'm saying. You we all sa- we all start homo. That's what I'm saying. Can't say no homo. It's it's only homo. That's dog. all it is. It's all of it is yeah. homo, son. <laughs> the fuck you mean? No homo, no life. Life doesn't exist without homo. 
You know what I hate? Paws. Yeah. Well, I mean. She'd be like, yeah, I was like, I was lifting next to this guy and he was like really strong. Like he had big muscles. Paws. I'm like, dude, all right, we get it. Yeah. Yo, you know what I hate? I hate that. When, when, when no homo was a thing. Oh, uh, no homo was the worst. So here's the thing about no homo, right? It made me more homo in my head. Yeah, of course. Cause when, cause people used to say it, people who were like super, uh, like just homophobic, like they'd say anything, and it would be, and then like th- they'd be like, uh, be like, yo, that's a cool spoon, no homo. Yeah, and now I gotta create a reason why the spoon is like, a, it's a gay situation. Like, yo, yeah. did someone like fuck this spoon? Yeah, like, yo, you enjoying your ice cream? Psh, no homo, my bad. Yo, my back hurts, no homo. And now it's like <laughs> in my head, I'm like, wait, why would that be homo? You know what I'm saying? And then, but then it evolved, and then everyone started making jokes, jokes like, yo, I'm gonna suck your dick, no homo. Yeah, I mean, and then it became that. Right. But uh, no, so what struck me about this homo, this homo. Homeless homosexual? No. Is that is that where we are? Where, gay, where, where is it? Was it a gay man? No, I, I don't know what a sexual it's a preference homeless was. guy. He was a homeless man. There you go. So uh, it was maybe like 22 degrees, 23 degrees. We just got our Christmas tree the day before. Okay. And like this dude had no shoes on and his feet were just black as the night. Yeah. Like this dude was not faking the funk. This dude was homeless as ever loving shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. you know how it is around the holidays you're in an extra giving mood yeah, yeah i have an abundance of shoes you do the particular shoes that i was wearing didn't care for them much anymore we should do that this this winter yeah we should give away some shoes you got a lot of shoes yeah 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 i'll give away some shoes yeah we'll go around we'll try to find some uh yeah shoeless shoeless men and then we'll and then we'll, we'll dish them about yeah we'll dish them about yeah. um I wanted to start a charity called Kicks for Kids, where it's like you raise money and you, you kick get, them, and you kick the, all the kids in the head with new shoes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wanted to start a, a a charity at some point. I'm sure Kicks for Kids. I looked it up. It doesn't exist yet. Really? Yeah. Isn't Kicks for Kids with the X like the cereal? Cars for Kids. Ah. That's what you're thinking of. One eight seven seven come again. You ever see the commercial? It's so weird. It sucks. And it, and it looks like it was made in a high school. And it's definitely not that kid singing. It's like a girl singing, and it's a guy lead singer. I don't know, man. When you're young, it kind of blends. I had a very girly voice when I was younger. Really? What not it that like? it's that that manly anymore. Yeah. You know, but back then I had a high pitched. Uh, you, like yeah, you get, like what's going on? Yeah, what's going on, man? It's Joe. It's Joe. Uh, I can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> like my voicemail was like, yeah, "Who is this?" Do you have any recordings of that? Nah. Damn. I mean, I probably had your like, mom old does. videos. Your mom yeah, 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 does. for sure. I also looked like a girl when I was in like pre-K. I, I looked like a girl too. I, I had long like, hair. You know, Madeline. Yeah. The like English, uh, whatever was yes. in like school. I looked like Madeline. Did you have long hair? No, no, no. I just had like uh, I had a, a curly like sort of fro. But like you know, when you're young enough, is your hair curly? No, but wow. I had curly hair when I was younger. It's so weird how your body... You ever see people that are born blonde and then they're brunettes? Just change. Does it make sense? What is this, baby, a mood ring? How does that happen? How do you go from yellow to brown? Doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, oh, he had the it's most... like a be- banana. Yeah, he had the most beautiful blonde hair as a baby. I was like, this guy... His hair is black. Yeah, or like people have babies. It's like, yeah, he's got brown eyes, but we're hoping they turn blue. I'm like, w- uh, skews? Yeah, it doesn't skews? Make, it doesn't make any sense. Skews? How? I'm happy I'm not, not the only person that's like had a problem with that. Uh, you know, it bothers me. What kind of genetic genetic weird makeup do you have? I don't know. These babies are they're changing now. It's insane. Yeah, that they are. That they are. Um, yeah. So it was like 12 degrees, 20 degrees, whatever. So I was just like, yo, I'm right here. I'll take a cab home. And I just gave them some shoes. And thankfully, they were a little too big, but they fit them enough. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that was it. And then I just went home. Nice. Yeah. I've done that a couple times. Did he so. say thanks? Yes, he did. Like, he was very thankful. Nice. But you could just tell this guy was just super homeless. So fucked. So Dude, fucked. I, I honestly, I'm not even kidding. I think about that all the time in the winter. Um. Because it gets really cold in New York, in yeah. New York City, especially Manhattan, because you're surrounded by water and the wind is whipping around there. Yeah. It is freezing. And I, 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 I've I, been out, like, around Christmas time, me and my family, you should go to dinner somewhere. And right. even just walking from, like, 
the Uber to the restaurant. It's yeah. like, dude, it's freezing out. And I'm wearing a jacket, pants, thick socks and shit, layers, it's and I'm tough. cold. Yeah. Like, how are you homeless and surviving out there? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's insane. I like, and I've seen some, like, borderline homeless people, but, like, it, it gets me, like, when they have pets. Ugh. And it's just like, dude, it's 97 degrees and like this dog's panting out here. Like I'll go in 7-Elevens and get, just be like, yo, just give your dog like all this water. Yeah. You know, and like uh, I saw a dude because the Petco by my apartment, this guy was homeless and had like a cat's. It was like, yo, I'd like uh cats. He had cats. And they were like, yeah, they were they like were feral. Hanging out? Yeah, they were chilling. And they were just like feral hogs, <laughs> feral hogs. <laughs> But, like, you could see, like, they would leave him a little bit and, like, do, like, their own thing and, like, just be walk catty. back to him. Yeah, because, like, he feeds them. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. But I remember I was like, dude, I was like, here, just take a whole bunch of cat food and, like, fix up your fucking cats, man. Like, just, like, I care more about the cats than I do about, like, the homeless person. See, I don't. Like, I feel like there are people who they'll get upset and, like, they see a homeless guy with, like, a dog and they'll give him like money, be like yeah, but this is for the dog. And yeah, like, dude, take it easy on this fucking guy. Yeah, he's like, doing his best. Like I'll bring, I'll bring food. Yeah, you know, I like to get I, like, I don't mind giving homeless people money, but like I like giving them like stuff like food. Yeah, like yo, like trust me, this is in your best interest. It's to, like eat this food. Yeah, you know, a lot of times I'll ask them, be like, yo, did you eat today? That's the first thing I'll ask them. And then, you know, if they don't, if they haven't eaten and, and I have guys that live in my neighborhood that I know are homeless. So like I hit them off every time I see them. <laughs> yeah. It's like a part, uh, just like hit them off with some food or something. I know, but the way you yeah, said that just makes it sound like you like, I give them a little hit of something. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, hit them off. I keep them on the streets. Hit them off with a dime. Yeah. <laughs> no, one of the, like, it's weird, and I don't want to get, like, this deep, but it's like... I'm ready to get deep, baby. Like, you could be homeless like that. Yeah. I mean, not that. I mean, it would be more like... That. that. Yeah. It'd take a little time. But, uh, yes, no, you, you very well could. Um, and like, dude, like, people, like... I feel for people, too, man, because, like, I, I feel like people don't understand, especially with, like, addiction and whatnot. Like, people... Like, I, I've had... Um, you know, people around me suffer from addiction and, and I know what it's like to, you know, go through that or like what it, what it's like to, I mean, I haven't had struggled with addiction at all, but like I've known people very close to me that have struggled with addiction and it's, and people can write it off so easily as like, oh, this is your fault or like, uh, you know, they, they don't feel bad for the person because they're just like, oh, you know, they got themselves there. And blah, blah, blah. I was like, hey, you got to understand this is the disease. It's not like they were like choosing to go out there and just like get addicted to this thing. It's like, oh, man, no, I just love partying. It's like, dude, I have a disease. Right, right. Yeah. Might want to put that down. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. Put that down. Oh, sorry. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get demonetized. Sorry, what were you saying? No, something about, a, something about addiction. <laughs> no, but no, it's true. And it's like people choose fucking drugs over their family like 99% of the time. And that's the thing, right? That are like, that are real addicts. I'm not saying like anyone that like tries drugs is like, yeah, my family sucks. Yeah, yeah. You know, but. But, I, I, but I'm saying like people write that off and get and be like, oh, I'm not going to help this guy because like he got himself there. Like blah, blah, blah. It's like, all right, dude. Yeah, like you gotta have a little bit of, more of a heart there, yeah. fucking Ebenezer. Yeah, because it's not like it, it would be one thing if it was like, oh, this guy's homeless because he had five pyramid schemes that didn't go the right way, and he was trying to fuck people out of money, and now he's homeless because he didn't have a place to live. Like that's different, right? But like if you struggle with an actual disease, what, what, I'm gonna walk by and spit on you because yeah. I fucking you know what I'm saying? You know how like, many fucking drunk guys I've walked by like eight nine in the morning that are just like slumped up against the wall? I'm like, this guy doesn't want to be like this. He's fucked up. Yeah, it sucks. But it's just weird. Like I always thought about like, all right, today I'm gonna go homeless. <laughs> it's just weird that no, because like they just, they don't have a choice. They're like, I have to just commit to this life. And then they have like their own set of rules. Like yeah, you know, homeless people have like. Like their survival techniques are crazy, like like the way they survive oh, in New York. I, you it's, know how it's incredible. You know how I'm like weird about a lot of things. There was a point in my life where I wanted to strictly interview homeless people. Yeah, as like a, a I don't even know what the hell it was. I just wanted to do it because I feel like because you know how I always say like I think everyone has something to offer, but I feel like homeless people in particular, the ones who aren't just like insane or whatever, right? They have these gems. 
Because yeah. dude, to survive on the streets of New York City. You've seen some stuff. This is the most, like, I mean, besides San Francisco, the most expensive place to live yeah. in the United States. It's freezing. There's a thousand people. It's dirty. Yeah. And you're doing it for years. How? And it's like, when I see a dude just like sleeping in like a loud ass place and just knocked out, I'm like, yo, this dude has probably been up all night just like getting kicked out of places where he was trying to sleep. And like, I would love there was a there was a great documentary which you should watch. A guy goes undercover on uh, Skid Row, Oy. and they have like this whole fucking weird homeless underground community. Community, yeah, I've seen. And they have like hierarchies and shit. Like there's like the king homeless man. Like there's like leaders. There's like levels to like being homeless. Imagine being so homeless you were the king of the homeless. Does that make you the least homeless or the most homeless? That makes you the most homeless and the least at the same time. Because people depend on you and look up to you, but it's like, hey, he's sleeping in a cot like right next to me. Would you rather be... Hom- I'd rather, I'd rather say, serve the homeless king. Uh, no, I was gonna it would say, give me purpose. I was going to say, would you rather be homed or the king of the homeless? Mm, I want to have a home. Yeah, probably. I don't want to be the king of anything. Kings well, that's, are kings that's are responsibility. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but the thing kings is, get slain. Yeah. Imagine you were the boss, and they're like, you know what? We're just gonna cut your head off today. I'm good on that. Yeah. Which and that was another thing that was weird too. They used to have public executions. Yeah. Like people would just gather around, and be like, "Here ye," and then they they'd hang like ten people, and then everyone would go, "Ah, who wants a beer?" That woman read a book. Hang her. Hang her. She's a witch. Yeah. And that's another thing, too. They used to burn people in, like, town squares and shit. Tar and feather. Tar and feather. That's lunacy. Yeah, that's insane. Or they would drag people through the streets, stone people, bury them up to their necks, and stone them. Yo, being stoned to death is probably the worst way to die. Um, It's up there for sure. Too. Because you need some real fucking marksman to knock you out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, these people are hitting your fucking chest and your back and all that shit. Like, I think if I, like... If I had to stone ha, ha, someone, I think I... I'm missing I'd, on purpose. No, nah, I think I'd... I'd be like, I oh, airmailed it. Sorry. No, nah, I'd do them a favor. I'd try to hit them as hard as I could so they'd go out. <laughs> Seriously. Yo, they're going to get stoned. Yo, man, I'm sorry you're going to die, but let me just put this one right between your eyes and you won't feel anything else. That's why we shoot deer. Yeah, it's true. You know, we saw those deer. Dude, hold on, yeah. Hold on, I just remembered this. Yeah, I know you're probably watching. There, someone DM'd me. Okay. A video. Okay. Of this long story, didn't read it. A lot of words. <laughs> Can I? I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. But how long does a DM have to be where you're automatically just like, there's zero chance I'm reading this? It was three blocks. Oh yeah, it's over. I was like, good bed. Yeah. Uh, so, but at the bottom, there was a video and the only reason why I even read the little that I did was because of the video, right? Some sick bastard sent me a video of a deer with fucked up legs. Oh, and it was a video of the deer struggling to stand and get away and then I guess someone he knew walking into the person's house where they were and being like, oh, can you go knock on their door and tell them to shoot the deer. It's like suffering. And then it was like, it was hilarious. Basically, like how it was written was like, did you believe that? Hilarious. And I was like, this is, a, I, I don't want to, this is sad. Did they, I don't want to see this. Did it show them getting shot? No. All right. Thank God. No, I, that I would have, I would have been like, the fuck is wrong with you? I would have been a, basically a remake of Bambi. People, this is the thing, right? You got to remember, we are from the city. Well, I am from yeah. the city. I don't see animals. Yeah. If I see an animal. That's crazy. It's like Snow White. I'm like, oh, Look at I that. see a deer and I slow down. Yeah. All right. I, I will stop my car. Like, oh, yo. Oh, a fucking deer. But other people see deer in other parts no, of the no, country yeah. and they're just like, it's a fucking deer. Yeah. Right. So I, I get how you can be like desensitized to the fact that like, oh, we got to we gotta put this thing down. You got to shoot it in the face. But with me, eh, 
I would have drove that to a hospital. I'd be like, put some casts on it. I had a... <laughs> Giving Forrest Gump's braces. We'll get this thing up and running. Joe in a few fucking years. nurses his deer back to health. Yeah. Like, write like a movie about it. It's I was like, like but I was Secretariat. So, I was like, oh my God. And like, it, it was just like funny to see the contrast between a person like me and another person who lives in a, in a different area of, of the right, country right, right. being like, ah, man, this is like funny. And I'm like, how? Oh, man. Yeah. It's like, man, look at this stupid deer. Kill I it. can't even walk. And I'm like, <laughs> dude. In a way, they were right, I guess. For no, yeah, you got to shoot that deer in the face. Yeah, but like right the to laugh about, it's a little tough. Yeah, remember we saw those two deer or goats in whatever store we were in. <laughs> what are you doing? I almost right? threw up. I almost threw up thinking about it. So we went to this place and they had the meat section and they had like these, oh. pe- these pieces of meat out, obvi- like regular, you know, wrapped up, and then they just had two skinned with their hearts hanging out, fucking goats. I think. It, it, it could have been a dog. It could. I don't know what animal it was. You could tell where they slit its fucking throat because yeah. its head was barely hanging on. Yeah. And all their teeth were still in their mouth and their eyeballs were just staring at the boy. And I was like, they are gazing into my fucking heart. I said, this made me never want to eat meat again. And then we had chicken. And then I had lamb today. Yeah, you did have yeah. lamb. Yeah. You literally ate that today. Yeah, I did. I ate, I ate lamb. probably ate them. Lamb's great, though. Lamb is great. Lamb uh, is great. And it had, like, yo, if you're going to hang me, cut the head off. Yeah, man. get rid of the head and, get, and let's remove the heart. It, it makes it too, yeah, remove the heart. Oh, actually, the heart I heard is good. Yeah, but uh, they're I don't want to get into that. It was hanging, and it, the heart was literally hanging upside down like this. Yeah, it was It was a lot. It was a lot, man. And dead as shit. Yeah. I know that my whole, like, you know, thing is flawed. Like, vegetarians are losing their minds right now. But I know my whole thing is flawed when it comes to, like, meat and whatever. Like, I don't want to see it in the shape of what it is. I just want to see it as food. Yeah, I want you know to see. It, I want to see it prep because if I see it like that, I don't. That's like why, it. like, I don't like going to Greek Easter. Like, ah, oh, man, I can see that that's a lamb. Like, I would rather just get served lamb and or be like, like, oh, this just looks like dirt, like food. I've had friends who were like, yeah, we're gonna bleed out the lamb tonight and like take pictures of it, and I'm just like, yo, chill, dog. Yeah, like, come on, fam. I did have a DM person though, who worked in a hospital. If you're watching the show, I forgot who you are, but. uh Actually, actually, don't act, don't DM me anymore. But uh, <laughs> but they worked, and they would send me DMs of stuff in the ER. So like, if a dude's arm came off, uh, I would see it. Why? Because yeah, they would just send it to me. I'd be blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't like to block people on Instagram, and I'm gonna tell you why. I have a weird theory about it. Um, he would send me like. If they removed like organs, I would see them like a heart. I saw like yeah, I saw mad shit. No. Yeah, and then they just throw it in this biohazard box. It's fucking crazy. No, the reason I don't block people on Instagram is because I feel like that gives them power over me. Because if you go in the blocked users, it's like all their names are there. I'm like, oh, these people beat me. <laughs> I don't really block anyone either, but. I just don't want because then like a part you're blocking them, but like their name is like attached to you and you're blocked users. And I'm I like, even, yeah, I have never even ah. seen a blocked users. Like, where do you see? That? I don't even know where you that go is. to settings and like blocked users. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that. Yeah, to be honest, it takes a lot for me to block you. It, honestly, I would only block someone if they're just being like like thirty comments in a row on like every picture, and it's like annoying like that. Then I'd yeah, be like, all right, this is done. That kind of stuff. I don't like mind that. like when people comment on my pictures, but like. How do you feel about these ones? Hey, man, I got great beats. Can you check them out? Or, oh, I'm sorry I have to do this, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a producer from Miami. and uh, I respond all the time. I'll reply to those. Really? Yeah, I'll reply to them and be like, yeah, man, no problem. I'll be like, not right now, but I could do it later. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, because they ask so nicely. Well, it's a, I think it's a marketing thing. Of course, of course. But that's a, that's a like... Have some integrity here. Yeah. Like you, can act, you can't beg. I mean, you can, but there's different ways to do no. it. You can, you can beg the right way. No, you can't. The begging, you don't beg. But is it is it begging if you're just trying to get people to see your stuff? It is begging. Or is it you like... That, that whole thing is framed quote as unquote, a beg. Quote, unquote, being proactive, but coming off like... No, I think being proactive is getting better at your craft. Yeah. And just having some integrity of being like, I'm not going to beg or force anyone to listen. So you think that's like false marketing? 
False advertising? No. I don't think it's false advertising. I just find it to be annoying. I'm more subtle with everything. Like a lot of people back in the day, like, I feel like the YouTuber doesn't even exist anymore. Like the idea. Oh, they do. They do. They do. But like, it's, it's way less like saturated and like, it's a different thing now. Yeah. But it's, it's not called like YouTuber anymore. It's like, vlogger. it's just, yeah, it's just what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, uh, what, like, cause back in the day people used to, uh, post the link to their video like every single day and like really push it, really push it. And like yeah. this and that and like whatever. And I, I would post it once. And there was a time where I did, um, uh, there was a begging time for me where it was like, you going to cry, man? I, <laughs> you gonna let it out, man. Let it out, man. There was a begging point where I would, cause I was like trying out to see if there would be a difference there of telling people that if they did retweet the tweet to the video, then I DM a couple of people. Oh yeah. Yeah. I used to do that all the time. Yeah. I, I remember before we knew each other, I used to retweet it. Well, we knew of each other. Yeah. I'd just be like, yeah, I was just like waiting on this DM dog. Like yeah. it's all good. I do remember that. Damn. That feels like ages ago. I mean, it was, it was like five years ago. Damn dude. But, um, wow. That, that brought me back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh fuck yeah! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Fun. Okay. What accent are you doing? Action. What action? You want some action? What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with us? Uh, um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's not wrong with us. The sponsors that we have for this. That's show. true. Let me get to the side. What's up with the bracelet? I just noticed that. Oh, yeah. I bought a bracelet. You're a bracelet boy. I'm not a bracelet boy. You're a bracelet boy uh, doing no. basement nads. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bracelet. And, uh, you know, don't look at it because it, it's the uh, coordinates of my mother's house. Is it really? Yeah. Damn, I'm going to leak that. And it's like down to the decimal. Is it really? You're probably from my damn, bedroom. I, uh, damn. On nah, I wouldn't thing. have brought it up. Maybe earlier in the show, people. you just held it up to There's the camera. There's no way that people could see this. Yo, f- fucking, there's nerds out there, dude. I. <laughs> you ever remember that in movies, too? Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance. It was so weird in movies, like, how they would have technology where, like, the first frame, it wouldn't be clear. But for some reason, they could put a box on it, and it was clear. It was like, sh- 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 and you're like, all right, this is 4K now. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? So this is 1990. The fuck? I wonder, like, how many things happened in movies, like, like pro, like, uh, like projected uh, future inventions that they did in movies that have, like, actually came true. Like, I wonder what the first movie to ever use, like, a fake FaceTime was. Oh, I see what you're saying. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like in Click when they're like in the future and they have like those things. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck anyone would know, to be honest with you, unless they knew every movie ever. Ah, oh, let's get to the ad scene. Uh, we're going to keep you guys nice and shaved with Harry's razors here. Uh, humans, they've been shaving for over 5,000 years. That's a fact. It's a long time. That's a long time. Okay, that's more than 1,000 years. That's for sure. Uh, 10 million people have tried Harry's, um, and they love it. We got Harry's. The boys got them. We use them to shave our necks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously, I got to keep this shaved. But I can't shave my face because if I do, this show goes to shit. Everything it changes. What would I have to do, honestly? No. I'm going to ask you after. I'm going to ask you after. Not going to not gonna shave my face. No, but I, I want to see what, like, realistically how attached you are to it. But, like, keep going. Very, very attached. Um, <laughs> Harry's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, they have quality durable bla- bra- <laughs> quality durable blades at a fair price. Just two dollars per blade. That is. Uh, it owns a world class blade factory in Germany that's been making some of the best razor blades in the world for over ninety nine years. Also, a very long time. That's like a like a hundred years. Um, also, Harry's is a brand you can be proud of. One percent of sales are donated to organizations that provide access to mental health care for men. Hey, you know, <laughs> so I'm paying for Danny here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, you can claim your special trial offer by going to harrys.com slash basement. Um, and your trial set will include a weighted handle for a firm grip, a five blade razor with a lubricating strip and trimmer blade, rich lathering shave gel with aloe to keep your skin hydrated, which is important. Yes. Um, and a travel blade cover to keep your razor dry and easy on the go. Um, Again, that is harrys.com slash basement. Start shaving better today. Okay, folks? harrys.com 
slash basement. Uh, go do it up. Uh, next, we have SeatGeek. Our buddies over there at SeatGeek. Love them. Love SeatGeek. Anytime I go into a sporting event, a concert, a play. Don't say it. Kind of a Broadway guy. I'm going SeatGeek. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say it. Don't worry about it. We're not going to talk about your hat. Um, we're not going to talk about it. We're not talking about it. He's wearing a Yankee hat. We just got knocked out of the playoffs. We're not talking about it. Uh, the, <laughs> so SeatGeek. Talk about happy stuff. Can't even talk about happy stuff. You can stuff. go to a great Broadway play to cheer you up. There you go. Or you go to Nick's game and get more upset. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, yeah, but their their app uh, allows you to buy tickets to to events. Um, they make it very easy. The interface is fucking awesome. I love it, and it shows you like good prices, bad prices for certain uh, seats. They have over fifty thousand five star reviews. That's a lot. Not just me saying it. Saying it, I could use some of those reviews as runs. Yeah, could use <laughs> could use fifty thousand runs. Stay in the fucking. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, so go check out SeatGeek. Uh, they will even give you $10 off your first SeatGeek purchase. All you need to do is use our promo code, which is BASEMENT. Okay, uh, $10 off your first purchase. Go download SeatGeek in the App Store today and start going out there and exploring the world. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, ma. Uh, I was going to say motherfucker. <laughs> I know I do. I like SeatGeek, though. I don't think they'll care that I curse. Se- SeatGeek's great. Hell yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next probably can't curse on this one skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills uh you can take classes in everything from photography to creative writing to design productivity like any sort of skill i highly recommend this to anyone i'm a firm believer in that everyone in this day and age should have some sort of side hustle they're working on or some skill that they could turn into a business one day and this could be a way to to start doing that uh so whether you're returning to a long time passion project uh, challenging yourself to get outside your comfort zone, uh, you know, Skillshare is for you. Um, join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for our listeners. Get two months of Skillshare for free. Two months. Yeah. They're giving away. They're giving it away. Free knowledge. Uh, Skillshare is offering the Basement Yard listeners two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Uh to sign up, go to Skillshare.com slash basement. Again, that is Skillshare.com slash basement. Okay, they got creative writing, animation, film and video, music, music production. They have a lot of cool stuff. So definitely go check them out. Uh, this could be the start of your entrepreneurial journey. Got to start somewhere, right? Got to start somewhere, as they say. Why Danny, not? who says that? They. There you go. Uh, next, we have, uh, lastly, our, our last sponsor for today is OpenFit. Uh, OpenFit takes all the complexity of losing weight and getting fit. It's a brand new, super simple streaming service that allows you to work out from the comfort of your living room in as little as 10 minutes a day. It's nice. Okay? Which is nice because sometimes you don't feel confident enough to go to the gym and work out in front of other people or you're going to yoga class and the old ladies are more flexible than you so you look bad. I'm talking from personal experience here. Yeah. So you could just take these yoga classes in the comfort of your own home at your own time. If you don't have time for the gym, you'll get home late from work. You could do it whenever you want. At your own leisure. At your own leisure. Affordable and accessible. That's the biggest thing. Um, And you can bring it on vacation if you want to do that. If the hotel you're staying at doesn't have a gym, doesn't matter. You got a tablet, boom, bang, boom. You got a TV that has like capabilities in it. There you go. Um, and you get you can see results within the first 30 days. Uh, even if you just want to do something like increase energy, it's good for that as well. Uh, you can uh, lose up to 15 pounds in just the first 30 days the right way. Okay? That's going to take some dedication. But you can get it done. All right? So start now. Uh, go check out uh, OpenFit. Um, go text BASEMENT to 303030. Uh, you can join in on the fitness journey personalized just for you. Uh, right now during the OpenFit 30-day challenge... Uh, our listeners get a special extended 30-day free trial membership to OpenFit when you text BASEMENT to 303030. Um, you will get full access to OpenFit, all the workouts, nutritional information, totally free. Again, all you have to do is text 303030. Standard message and data rates may apply. Mm. Good for you. Good for you. Good Boom. for you. Good for you. I think I'm getting good at this. You're very good. I think they're going to put me on TV one day. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on, kid. Better than last week. You had a little trouble. Did I? Yeah. Sometimes when I get new sponsors, right, it's hard to read and be animated at the same time. Well, I'm trying not to read. I'm trying just to hit the points and just do them because I know saying. what the companies are. Yeah. But sometimes I just like, 
I lose my spot. I'm like, oh, <laughs> it happens. You know, it happens. Breaking down the third wall. I'm just like, hey, yeah, the, yeah. Whoa, 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 right. happens to us on the stank. You know, happens happens from time to time. Yeah. But uh, I was this thing with your beard. When's the last time you were fully shaven? 1918. No, I think. Uh, good year. Good year. Good year. Excellent year. I think I don't know. Maybe like 2007. Wow. How old was I? No, that's a lie. I was about to say 17. Mm, no. Yeah, maybe. No, no, no. My senior year of high school, I was still shaving my face. I'm so yeah, I'm trying so to send out videos of you. 18, if, 19. When I first started doing like YouTube shit, I think. You have no beard. No, I did. I think. No, I didn't. I had like very minimal scrub. Now, is there a reason why you don't like to not have a beard? Yeah, I'm ugly, dude. <laughs> Without a beard, you're ugly. Yeah, not not that. Listen. I don't think you're ugly. Okay. Thomas shaves his face. Here we go. I'm not trying to get some compliments. I am not fishing for anything. I'm just saying the boy's a little uglier. I, I I get that. I, I I don't shave for that reason. I think I look better with it. I think I look better with it as well. And I like the way it looks. That's that's all. You're I gonna like, like the way, way you look. look. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. I was like, this side profile, of this guy's face is nice. What happened to that guy? The men's warehouse guy. Yeah. Remember you see him talk for a little while? <laughs> You'd be like, You're gonna like the way you like, dude. Stop. We get horny. Yeah. Man. Am I trying to buy me a suit or fuck me? I, I, maybe both. Yeah. You ever go to men's warehouse and it's like. Yeah, man, we got affordable stuff until you get here, and it's really expensive. Yeah, what's an affordable suit? I'm thinking affordable suit. I'm thinking like maximum sixty five dollars. <laughs> we get there, and it's like it's only three hundred and sixteen. I was like, why did I come here? The suit's three fifty. Oh, that's just the jacket. I'm like, Jesus, what? fuck! I just paid five dollars for fucking parking. Yeah, bitch. I hate when I go shopping, pay for parking, and don't find anything that I like. <laughs> that <laughs> and, bothers me. And all I did was pay for parking that day. <sighs> It makes me so fucking angry. Yeah. That's one of my biggest pet peeves in life. Like about myself, it's like you went shopping for fun, didn't find anything, and just spent twenty dollars on parking. Doesn't sound so fun. Like an asshole. Yep. Hey, uh, yeah. I'm. Uh, hey, I'm on your team. You ever go shopping and like feel good that you didn't spend money though? You're like, I'm happy I didn't buy this. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it's I'll, like you go shopping and not buy anything. I'll be honest with you. I've gone shopping. Like under 10 times in my life. You're hard to get to buy stuff for yourself. <laughs> no, I buy stuff for myself, but I buy it in bulk. No, no, no. Yeah, you buy it online and like you do it at your own leisure. But like I, I, I won't spend, like I won't go to a store and spend 70 bucks. Like if I'm going shopping, I'm spending like $350 minimum. Yeah, that I understand because I do that too. But I like going to like stores and like, I don't mind trying shit on and like looking and trying to find the best price and stuff. I feel like you were just like, get, I hate all of this. Yeah. I'm not a big guy for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. Like I would never call you to come to Barney's. I would go with you though. Yeah. Yeah. You would. Cause you, you know, know you, you, would, also, you would get some drip. I'm get, the- <laughs> Barney's has fresh shit. Shout out to Barney's. Shout, also shout out to Barney. Yeah, yeah. Hey Barney, come on the show. Come on the show, Barney. I haven't <laughs> haven't seen that guy in a while. Fucking seven foot tall fucking dinosaur. Was there any pedophile stuff that came? Of I that? think so, but I didn't want to say it out loud, but I just did. Okay, yeah, because I wasn't <laughs> sure. I was like, ah, oh, kids show. You, you know, I feel like stuff always comes out like. Seven wasn't years Elmo then. a perv too? He was a puppet. No, the guy that played Elmo. I mean, maybe. I think so. I think he got. I think he did some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Over there on Sesame Street. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, but you shopping, it's like. I'd like I, to. I've sh- never seen shops. Be sh- what? <laughs> you I'd, like to be shopped? Be, we can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, you know, I'm. I'm now like. It's it's weird, but I feel like I'm in this phase of my life where I'm going against everything that I used to do. Yeah, like, like I never ha- spend money. Yeah, but like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like everything that I'm like, oh, I don't do this, and it's like, why? And it's because uh, this is just what I've been doing, so I'm just gonna just do not do that anymore. Right? Did that make any sense? Yeah, it did. To me, it did because 
I know you, but it, logically, maybe it didn't. But like you wouldn't when spend money. When you've been money- doing stuff your whole life, you've been doing everything a certain way. Talk to Eating him. certain foods. Talk or to going him. to certain places. Yes. And you haven't gone to other places. Yes. Because you had a bad experience when you were little or because like whatever. What happened to you? I'm saying like like a food. Like you threw up once because you had hot chocolate. So you haven't had hot chocolate. And now you've convinced yourself, I just don't like hot that chocolate. That happened to you? No. My sister though. I was like, no, no, you can't. You, uh, you can make stuff up on the spot. I was like, there's no way that's made up. No, no. What no. happened to you on this fucking trip, dude? No trip. You said something happened to you bad to you on a trip, and that's why you don't go anymore. No, I'm saying like in general, like who was it? <laughs> oh, you idiot! I'm saying like if you went on a trip when you were younger uh, to you know uh, fucking Lake yeah. George. If Goofy tells you to walk in the woods with him when you're six, uh, you went right to molestation. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I'm saying you go to like the woods and you're like, I don't like the woods because you know. But you, that was an experience you had when you were seven, when right. you were just crying for no reason. Oh, okay. Like now as an adult, you could go there and appreciate. Oh, all right. You okay. know. All right. I and gotcha. I compare everything to uh, a needle, right? Because okay. when you get an, a, a shot when you're younger, it's the worst pain. You've ever felt in your life, yeah, and it's, it's like hor- it's, it's crazy, right? But then you get one as an adult, and you're like, mm, "What?" I was like, "That wasn't that bad." Still to this day, I don't like them. Oh, who the hell likes getting hurt? But like, uh, I used to be f- terrified of IVs. Like, I'm like no, no way. Why? <laughs> because I, I like, just thought it was weird that they were just gonna go and put it in me. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And they have, like, that weird cool thing that sucks your blood out super fast now. Like, the little tubes. Like, yeah, that's what they do. Uh, I used to be terrified of that. It's like, dude, throw IV me through the ass. I was like, I'll do all that now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, even earlier on this show when we first started, I was like, yo, like, you never want to, like, go to Italy? And you're like, nah. (laughs) No, no, no. That's not. (laughs) No, no, no. I was like, yo, you don't want to, like, find out, like, where your family was from or, like, go see Italy? You were just like, nah. That's still true. That was the real question. It's not that you want to go to well, they, Italy. Well, they were lumped in together. And well, you're like, kind of. It wasn't that I never want to go to Italy. <laughs> it was just like, yo, you don't care where your family was from, and you don't want to go and see like the town. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> I still don't really care. So I don't care for it. I care about my family, but I don't. Oh, I know that. I don't care. No, I know, no, but I'm saying like the family that I don't even know, like the ones that I never met that right. you know came and went. Like I obviously like care about those people that they were attached to my family and like i'm proud of whatever but i'm not like to the point where yo we gotta go to fucking naples because that's where i originated like what's gonna happen i'm gonna walk through the streets and smell the air and feel like i'm home now Dude, i'm not gonna get that naples is fire i'm sure it is i'm sure it's great i'm sure the whole country is great but that's the that's the next big thing you have to do is go overseas the seas where would you want to go first place Cause you're going somewhere, right? What? Did I make that up? Oh no, you're going to Iceland next year. But yeah, I don't yeah. know if I'm actually going to Iceland though. Oh okay. Uh, but I might uh, next year tentatively. Oh. There was Germany and Ireland mentioned. I heard Germany is fire. Oh, well, it's for October first. Yeah. And you I saw hear that I... fucking that thread. Yeah. Dude, there was a thread going around on Twitter of Oktoberfest and just cocaine and dicks. Everywhere. Yeah. You're going to have to dodge a couple of those. going to have to dodge a dick. Germany, they got to be it. Yeah, I saw a snitchel. What is it, Grandpapa? What is it, Grandpapa? Centimeters. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I, once you go, I think once you leave the country, you get kind of a, like a, you get to see how it's so different from here, just culturally. Right. You know, and it's like, you can go to the South and see like, different cultures and shit, but you're still American. You're all Americans, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, but once you go somewhere and like, nobody understands a fucking word you're saying. Yeah. Like in Italy, everybody speaks English, but we went to a small town in Italy where nobody spoke English. And that shit was groundbreaking. Just yeah. being like, yo, these people have no idea what I'm saying. I have to be forced to like, look up the language and speak the language and just to communicate minutely with these people yeah you know so it's like yo like just trying to find water like we, when we were in this fucking town it was crazy um i think everyone should go through something like that where it's like you're just completely out of your element in another country where it's not like i'm, I'm not saying go fucking run with the bulls or some shit like you know i'd run with the bulls i wouldn't no fucking way it's dude. not that far 
Yeah, but there's bulls. <laughs> there, I mean, there is bulls. <laughs> I'm good, son. Yeah, there's. Bulls. Let me run this mile first, first. I start running with the bulls. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do that. Yeah, man. We're gonna, I'm gonna say it on the show, so it has to happen. Otherwise, you guys can hold Danny accountable. Oh, uh, fuck you, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to bring that. I didn't want to bring up running with the bulls specifically for this reason. Oh no, no, no! Forget the bulls. That's a. That, I, I don't know if I'd even actually do that. My life would be on the line. No, no, no. Uh, but Danny is getting a stress test soon. Friday. Friday to see what's good with that H. Yeah, just just what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed yeah, to do. Yeah, we don't want to pop that heart out. Yeah, because uh, I did yoga and my heart rate got up to like 167. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, but he's going to uh, get a stress test so he can see what's good. I'm sure everything will be fine. Yeah, just the okay would be like, I can do stuff. Do stuff. Yeah. And then starting Monday, uh, every day... Because uh, I usually go to the gym in the morning, but then every day in the afternoon after the workday, we're going to go to the gym again. Mm. Well, I'm going to go again. One for me, go. two for you. Yeah. <laughs> One for me, two for you. And uh, we're going to just run. Yeah. So we're going to train them. Because I ran I ran two miles the other day in... Uh, Let me guess. S- well, I said S. I heard... S- yeah. Yeah, you got it. 16... 16- oh, no, it was 17. 17 <laughs> 1738. No, 17.47. <laughs> It was 1747. I ran two miles, and the first mile I ran in nine minutes in like two seconds or some shit. But were you like, <gasps> it wasn't easy. All right, but were you like, <gasps> I was, I honestly was shocked that I could do it that fast because I hadn't ran in a long time. Like when I was running all the time, yeah, like I would, I would crush that. But like I haven't ran in a while, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it. What's the speed on the treadmill for that? For what? Nine for nine, minutes? ten minutes or whatever. I don't know. But what were you oh, running? Ten at? minutes is, is is a six. I it think. It was a six. I was running at like a. I was fluctuating between like around seven to eight. Yeah. I feel like it's harder to run a mile outside. It is mentally. Well, actually, no. I disagree. When I'm at the tra- like, that's why because the tra- they're redoing the track. Yeah. The track is so so much easier for me because right. I don't get bored because I can always see where I started. And I'm like, I just got to get back there because yeah. it's four laps, obviously. So the first lap's easy. The second lap, you're like, I'm breathing, but like, whatever. Yeah. Like if you're going for speed, right. I'm talking about. And then it's like the third lap, like you just have to keep your eye on like, that's where I need to go. Yeah. Like I just need to go back there. And then I fake race everyone on the track and shit. So like you can distract yourself. Yeah. Or there's dogs running around or there's like, you know what I mean? Have you ever used like a TV at the gym? Like ran with a TV? I no, like that sometimes. I, I, I can't watch TV. I don't know how people do that. If it's sports, I could do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't watch TV when I, because there's TVs at the gym. But if I watch them, I just like. I'm thinking about too much. Like I need to just like zone. So I literally just pick a spot on like on the floor or on like the machine in front of me. If some person's running on it, like I'll just like look at like the handrail. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll look at the handrail and just stare at it and just run. <laughs> like I need to do that. Otherwise, yeah. if I'm looking around and thinking about too much, like I'll keep looking down and see how far I went. Like I used to watch episodes of The Sopranos on my iP- like on my iPod Touch. Damn. Yeah, just so I, I can... Damn, dude, the iPod Touch. Wasn't that awesome when it came out? It was really it cool. It was like an iPhone with no phone capability. Yeah, and it was like, I would watch an episode of The Sopranos on there and be like, all right, this is like an hour, obviously. Yeah. So like, I don't have to look at the clock. I don't have to get discouraged. Just, just, get watch, just watch the episode and, and the hour will be gone. That's good until about 22 minutes into the fucking workout. And it's like, damn, I'm, I'm running. And there's 43 minutes left in this fucking episode. Yeah. That, see, I just like, like, I can't imagine running for an, uh, uh, the longest I've ever ran in recent history was like 43 minutes and I was toasted. I ran four miles though. So it was like 10 minute miles, sort of. Dude, I used to run every day. I've never been a runner like that ever. I used to run every day. That was probably the furthest I've ever ran in one shot. Four miles. It's pathetic. <laughs> it's pathetic. I mean, I think the most I ever ran consecutively was like six or seven miles. And that was just, just like running. I'm not just, talking about like football practice. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just, I went for a run like there and back. It was three and a half miles there, three and a half miles back. But like, I don't think I could possibly ever do that again. I think you could. I think you'd be surprised, dude. Yeah, I I got like when you really like because this this is why I want you to do it so much uh-huh. because 
I need someone to come with me right. so I could just be forced back into a routine. Right. Uh, but you, I got addicted to it. Do you remember when I was like addicted to running? I bought a watch and I had yeah. all this shit like blah, blah, blah. All these weird shoes. Yeah. So like, like weird runner man shoes. But I, I loved it so much because of that thing I keep, I always talk about where it's like, you need to be uncomfortable. Yeah. And be, like that I agree with. You're never comfortable running. Never. Every day. It's awful. Nobody likes, nobody can love running. I'm sorry. It's the, I, I loved running in the sense of like, that this sucks so much every time. Yeah, but you but love you get a little further every time. You love the suck. Yeah, that's what you're addicted to the suck. Yeah, I love the suck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Me and you were having a thing about how like it's easier for like celebs to stay in shape. I don't necessarily find that true. But that's what I was saying. You didn't find it true, right? That it's easier for a celebrity to stay in shape. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. It could go, if they want it, it's about the individual if they want it or not. But, like, if someone's going to offer you $4 million to be, like, you know, look what Chris Pratt did to his body. Yeah. You know, like, he was a fat dude on Parks and Rec, and they were like, dude, we need you to play Guardians of the Galaxy. You're going to get in shape. Yeah. If someone's going to pay you all that money. Okay. That makes it easier, though, because the studio is going to hire the guy that trains you. All your food's going to be labeled and cooked for you. They're going to make sure you go to the gym or you lose your job. You can pay for all of this, though. Yeah, but not a way that a, a Marvel studio is going to pay for it. All right, but you're talking about, like, the biggest of scales. Like, other people have lost weight. Right, of course. But how? it's the easiest. Dude, there's so many, like, like, dude, Blue Apron is a, a sponsor right. of the show. You could sign up for the Blue Apron. You get all these meals. Like, I'm not going to say, like... You know, this they're they're not a, a company that's like, oh, we're just gonna do weight loss stuff. That's not what they do. But it's like, you can get meals delivered, labeled, and it's all about like. Yeah, but some people can't. Is money it. the only thing that's gonna motivate you to lose weight or to exercise? No, but it's but it helps. It helps though. Of course, it helps when there's you know? incentive. It helps obviously, but it's like but even just in real life. If you're a normal person, you know, if if you if you don't have a lot of money, most are most times you're probably gonna eat shit. Right. You know, yeah. So that's where it's, it's it's a little bit different. But like, I look at people like. But I'm, say, ta- I'm talking say, about you. I'm not talking about in general. I'm talking about you. Oh yeah, like I, you I, can I, afford I, to do all of that. You yeah. could hire a personal trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we both we both know my net worth is between one and five million dollars. I want to know who put that on the internet. <laughs> yeah, I'm being honest. It's not me, and it's so funny to me that that got posted on the internet <laughs> because it is so false. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying. Also, it's, it's cool for my ego. Like I'm like cool, but like I don't want anyone to ever look at that. Like that I'm close to. Like if my family looked that up and they were like, "Hey, what's this about?" I'd be like, "You guys are idiots." Yeah. <laughs> you know. I swear to God, I got a couple more phone calls from my mom. Like after I posted that on the internet. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, she was like, "Hey, son, what's going on?" I was like, "She read the fucking article." Yeah. <laughs> I wish. Like, what is what is Joe Payne? <laughs> yeah. Right. Everyone was like, yo, can I come work there? I'm like, guys, it's not, it's not working. He's like not that. paying me fucking. You buy one Versace robe, your net worth goes up like $8 million. <laughs> Which if you do the math, that means his net worth is <laughs> negative $3 million. <laughs> it's closer to negative $3 million. Uh, but, that's uh, so funny. Yeah, no, I could, I could definitely do all that. But I, 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 I'm capable of doing it myself, which I should be doing it I'm myself. I'm just obsessed with being an exercise person. Yeah, because I'm I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like I am, but I, I'm obsessed with becoming one. Like I want to be someone that can't funk. Like you know those people that are so fucking annoying and they're just like, oh, I can't do anything without my coffee. Right. right. Like I want that to be me, but it's like I need to go for a run tonight. But why can't you just be like fat and bossy like Oprah? Dude, yo, Oprah's ma- is coming out like the groundhog, showing her face. Yeah, man. Like, I fuck up? with Oprah. Yeah, you know? she's out of, she, out of nowhere. She's just like, sup, still Oprah. Yeah, Oprah's been that dummy thick for mad long. Hell yeah, dude. And she's like, yo, I got more but money. She lost, than- she lost some. Yeah, she lost some pounds, but she got some back. She lost some pee. Me and her are very sims. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm going to post something when this comes out. I, I show pictures of it. Uh, I, when I weighed myself at my heaviest, what do you think I was? Like 270? More. 280? A little more. 284? More than that. 287? Yeah. Like 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 286.5. Damn. 
Damn, dude, you are a thick ass mama. Yeah, yeah. I was two fifty one this morning. Yeah, but I got down to 225. I you remember see, that. You see what I'm saying? So and like, you were a skinny boy. Yeah, so I I know what Ope's going through. Yeah, man. Ope, I feel you. But, like, you know, it's, like, weird. It's, like, I look at her. She can eat whatever she wants whenever she wants. Now, is it just because she doesn't exercise? Is it because she's older? Is it because her uh, genetics? No, I think, it's, I think it's a combination of all those things. It's, like... There's less incentive. And she works like crazy. Yeah, she's she's a fucking... She works like crazy, so it's harder to work out that way. Yeah. And she's not like a performer. Like, you know, she's not like a dancer or like, you know what I'm saying? It's And she is old. And she's old. How, how old is she? Should I ask Siri? Yeah. How old's Oprah? How, it's guess. Yeah, yeah, let's guess. I'm going to say Oprah is 64 years old. I'm going to go 61. <sighs> fucking Dom's texting me while I'm trying to do fucking... <laughs> Hey Siri, how old is Oprah Winfrey? Just a moment. Just a moment. What, is she busy? <laughs> the fuck is that? I'm folding my clothes. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm how on the shitter. How old is Oprah? Oprah Winfrey is 65 years old. Damn, I was Damn. close. Yeah, see, 65 years old, dude. Pack it in. I'm not exercising ever again. She looks good, yo. Yeah, she does. I mean that that's money too. You get like the best makeup and like all that. Oh yeah, well yeah. Best clothes, best hair, all that stuff. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's like famous people like imagine having a publicist. My publicist would hate me. That's what I'm saying. Like imagine like like having like a manager. Yeah. Or like a publicist. Like I don't know if I could deal with that. What do you? What, they don't really do anything. What do you mean? Yo, to have a good publicist, it's expensive. Yeah, but like, what do you mean? You don't know if you could handle what? Like, I like them, like kind of like being like, hey, like don't do this. It's gonna be bad for like your image. Oh yeah, you I would know, never you, be able to have like a PR. Person. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm like hey, shut the fuck up. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if, do you know? Like, if your publicist called and was like, hey, like listen, you shouldn't be posting stuff of you like hang gliding. Yeah, you'd be like, bitch, shut up. She'd be like, hey. <laughs> Do you work for me or I work for you? That's what I'm saying. You ba- you're, ba- you're hiring people to tell you what to do. Now, financial advisor, I, I get. I just put down the entire profession of PR people. <laughs> no, because that's probably, that's got to be a hard job. Like, if you're like the, the elite of the elite, you're balancing some of the biggest egos in the world. Which is impossible. Yeah. You remember when um, Kanye went through like three managers in like four days? Yeah. <laughs> Like hired Scooter Braun and fired him within like 18 <laughs> hours. It was like, the fuck was that? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. You think you'll ever have a manager? Yeah. I think at some point you you have to like, you probably need one. Yeah. I think, I think at, at one point, I mean, I don't know, you know, cause I, I go back and forth with whether I want to be like a, a, a business person or a, an entertainment person. Yeah. But just don't like retire and move to Alaska though. Dude, I can't retire. I lose my mind. Yeah. Just don't do it for like the next like. Eight to ten. Yeah, eight to ten years. <laughs> Let me milk you a little longer, yeah, right, bud? You, go. you know? Hey, you go. I got to get I... something out of you. Oh, but uh, Oprah, back to Oprah. Yeah. You see that, what happened with the cell phone? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. First of all, kind of sunned the kid. Dude, Oprah's out here sunning people. Yeah, so uh, the story The story is she was out just hanging out, uh, doing some stuff, you know, public appearance. People are like, oh, fucking Oprah, I love you, which I want to get back to. Um it's insane how many people love Oprah. Yeah. Like, she's, like, she's got to be probably one of the most famous women of all time, right? Her and, and Yonce. Yeah. Her and Yonce. Um, which I would take Oprah over Yonce like that. Well, yeah. But uh, Oprah did kind of support Harvey Weinstein, so let's forget about that. I'll go back to Beyonce. Yeah, go back to Beyonce for a little bit. Um, And so she was, a guy came up to her car and was like, hey, can I take a picture with you? Oh, my God, it's fucking Oprah, dog. And she was like, yeah, take a picture with me with your cracked up phone. Damn, shit on him. Shit on him, took the picture, and his phone was all cracked up. Damn, pooped on him. Pooped on him. But Damn, Oprah. this is why I was talking about publicists and managers. Do you think somebody went to her and was like, yo, Opes. Can't be sunning in the streets. Kind of sun my man's out there with the cracked phone. Yeah. Or do you think she caught it herself? Hell no. She didn't catch that herself, Dude, right? She is too rich and too old and just so far removed from life that she has no idea what she was doing. Yeah, but you could, but 
Yeah, somebody definitely told her, right? Yeah, if it, if it was me and she was like, yeah, take a picture of your cracked ass phone, I'd be like, damn, bitch. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I don't even want it's one. Like, we all got your money, bitch. Yeah, I would be like, fuck you. I wouldn't have said fuck you. But Oprah, yeah, you can't say fuck you to Oprah. You get killed. I actually think it's illegal to do that. Yes, yeah, in a couple states. Yeah. Um, so Oprah, I guess, got wind of this, or it was brought to her rich, oh. rich attention. Oh, it was on her desk. <laughs> the moment she got there. Yeah. And uh, she went as far as sending this person a brand new iPhone 11 with a protective uh, screen, with a protective screen and a case. Yeah. And wrote him a, a a letter, which had a spelling error, kind of on it. Yeah. She spelled through as if it was drive through, like T H R U. Yeah. Which was kind of kind of gangster. Yeah. She's like, "Yo, what's good? Got you a new cell. Come through." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that it was because I think that was a like a clearly a, like an intern like wrote that letter. I yeah. I don't think I think Oprah's, she's I think she signed it at the bottom. Yeah, I don't think she's inking these deals is yeah. what I'm trying to say. You uh, know it's successful. In a way I'd feel even more sunned though. That's what I was going to ask. I would be like, "Yo, I'm selling this phone." Oprah. The, the, the Oprah phone. Yeah, I'm selling the Oprah phone. I don't need your shit. No. Yeah, Oprah kind of double sunned. Yo, and your yo, you phone know, is... You, and you, she sent him a pink one. Bro, what? Yeah. It was a pink phone? It was a pink one. Yeah, and I know we're trying to knock down gender roles, but that's a clearly she's sunning them again. This Every, is a triple sun. Everybody knows boys have black phones. Most of us. Yeah. Or like the, the new green one that you have. That's all I'm saying. Which I called dibs on, but you got anyway, so I had to get a different phone. <laughs> Just how it works, you know? Um, I think she double sunned him. She triple sunned him. Because first it's like, oh, yo, your phone's cracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You broke bitch. And then <laughs> she's like, you know what? I'm going to send this broke motherfucker a phone. <laughs> Sends him a phone, all right? That's the, that's the extra sun. And then it was pink, triple sun, ooh, quad sun. Uh, because you <laughs> sent a screen protector, it'd be like, yo, keep your shit right. Right. Yeah. Ope's going crazy, dude. Yeah. And after you told me about this, yeah. I went on Twitter to try and find the video and I stumbled upon another Ope sunning. Really? Yeah, but this time she wasn't just sunning like a person. It was the whole fucking earth. She's in a store, right? And she's got two pairs of glasses. And she's being filmed because as Oprah does. Yeah. She's in front of that cam, cam making yeah. that dough. So she has the glasses in her hand. She goes, <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Like I was going back and forth about which one of these glasses I could, uh, that I'm going to get. I, I can afford both of them. I'll just, I'll just get both of them. Damn. I forget, on her I forget that I can afford both of them. So I'm just going to get both of them. Yeah. Oprah, oh. you rich bastard. <laughs> Out here stepping on neck, dog. Stepping on Yes, man. She was like, "Oh man, I forgot. I have a billion dollars. Give me, give me all your glasses. I'll just buy this company." Yeah, that's Shut what I'm down. saying. Like, if you're a billionaire and cheap, I can't stand you. Oh my god! But the thing that I can't stand either is that you were trying to act like you were cheap when you knew you were going to buy both of those Come fucking on. glasses at yeah. the immediately. You think Oprah hasn't gotten upset with the customer service at a restaurant and then bought the whole thing out, cleared it out, and made it her toilet? Yeah. Why do you think Blockbuster doesn't exist anymore? Oprah Netflix? bought Netflix? No. Oprah just didn't want to go to the store anymore. She hates blue and yellow. Yes. That's a fact, you yeah. idiots. Don't. Open your eyes. People don't read. That's the that, thing. Yeah, that's their problem. That uh, you don't read. Blockbuster they're, 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 and Oprah. Yeah. yeah. You know, you guys don't know about the blockbuster Oprah conspiracy. These fucking idiots! I can't even do this anymore. It's kids. It, you want to? Know, it's a. It's kids. It's children. It's children. It's the children it's of children today. Stuff. Yeah. It's the. It's the where the country's going and how yeah. it's been going, how it's being ran. Yeah. And where it's gonna, where it went. Okay. <laughs> um, another thing. Yeah. Do you think? People are going to actually end relationships over the 2020 election. Like marriages? Not Maybe. What do you mean? Like if someone's voting Trump? And someone's voting whoever else? Demo. Yeah. Do you think that people will, will end relationships because of that? Um, or could you stay like with somebody even if their political beliefs were completely opposite of yours? 
I I don't know where this question came from, but it's a good question. <laughs> I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't know where <laughs> we're joking around, man. Then all of a sudden, um, I I think that I uh, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh man, I could never be with someone who blah blah blah. Like you would have to give me legitimate reasons why you believe certain things. I I just like my biggest thing is like. I, I'm not going to say everyone who uh, voted for Trump is like a racist or something. Right. Uh, even though a lot of you are just saying. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them were. Uh, but I'm not saying like everyone is. Like I know people who voted for Trump because of certain policies they had and they strongly believed in that and like whatever. Don't personally believe in voting for reasons like that. Right. It's only selfish ones. But, you know, that's what people do sometimes. Uh, but they... But I'm not going to be like, oh, man, because you voted for him, that means that you are attached to all this baggage in a way that you in a way you are. But I'm not going to say that. That's you, why it's a, it's a weird it's yeah, a weird tape in, in that's a, around in a way you are. But I don't I'm not going to be like, yo, you are a racist person and right. you are 100 percent responsible for everything he does. Right. Like, I, I don't I like that's a heavy like thing to put on somebody right especially you know someone I mean? you've had like a prior relationship with yeah and i'm like, like i'm talking about just personal like i know like people, a friendship like i know people who have stopped being friends i'm 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 down to like i'm not really friends with anyone who is so closed off to like uh, ideals yeah, other ideals because like you know i'm very simple like I, it's hard for me to to it's always hard for me to like vote because i believe in certain things that are republican i believe in certain things that are uh you know that would align me with uh, uh the democrats and like this and that and like blah 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 and, like this person said this thing and i'm like ill what the fuck why'd they say that but and then like, if you voted like independent people would be like you're taking a vote away from like the real votes yeah you they put you they there's put no you winning win. obviously in the game of politics but it's like right. hard to choose where i'm at Cause no, no one is a hundred percent like, yeah. Oh my, like I would never like be in these streets forcing people to vote for somebody. That's just not how it works. So if you were like, if it, do you think though people are going to break up because of the 2020 election? I don't, I don't doubt it. I think, I think that probably happens all the time. That would be such a weird reason to have broken up and tell like people. I mean, it, it would be, and it wouldn't be because if, if you can tell like like if they're like, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Like if there's someone like you that that likes you, 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 you understand both sides sometimes, and, and they're just like, you know what, I'm gonna give it to so and so this year. Yeah. Because they, they, they did it for me. And if it was the person that you didn't want, people are gonna get dumped over this. Yeah. You know what I think Hearts about? Hearts are gonna be broken. You know what I think about if because I, I, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. In the last election, I didn't vote for him, but if I had, and I was very vocal about that, like what would have happened? I think you would have gained the support of his people, and the people that don't support him, they would have left off. But I've, uh, but I think that, like, I live in New York. This is as blue as it gets here. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah, I, I don't think it would have went well. But here's the thing: I also don't because a lot of people like tell me. Um, I, I recently was on vacation and w with this with this kid, and he told me that I should pick a candidate and just like be vocal about it. But I don't think it's my responsibility. Like I, I just encourage people to go vote because I'm, I'm really not like judgmental in the sense of of being like like yo, you should vote for who you want. Like if you want to vote because like blah for Re Republican A because of blah 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 or Democrat whoever because of this, mm. like cool, you should do that. Just vote is all I would want people to do. I don't. Oh yeah. I would never want to get up here and talk about like someone and say to people, "This is what you should do." Right. Is vote this person? Because yeah. like, what the fuck do I know? Now people have said that to me too. It's like, yeah, like you have like this big platform, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm gonna talk about sucking somebody's butt. But it's not even that. It's like I, <laughs> that's not my. It's not my thing. Like I'm not trying to convince anyone. They should find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, just convincing you to go find out. Right, but I'm also just not gonna like create my own propaganda for my own fucking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like vote for this person. I'm not gonna do that shit either. Yeah, no. I I just think it, I think it's like it's a hard because I I think the people that drive around in those vans that have like loudspeakers. <laughs> yeah, like vote for governor, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, now I don't want to vote for this person. You know what's also weird, too? Like, the people that stand out of places, like the Jesus people. 
that will sit outside of people and be like, the Lord said that you need to go there and suppose he's died for your sins. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to get like a hot dog, man. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a hot pretz. Yeah, you don't need to scream at me, yeah. you know? But I think I, I, I've I heard about it happening. Um, I've heard about people actually leaving their husbands because of their political beliefs. I will say, I wanted to say this before. I want, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry yeah. for interrupting you. But yeah, no. I think the Trump election was, because I'm 27 years old. I mean, I can't really remember too much because I've never really been into politics at all. But I was about to say, you can't remember when you were 27. I said, we're going to the hospital right now. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm saying I'm only 27, so I can't really remember like a lot of the elections. But the <clears throat> Trump one, to me, it kind of brought politics to the forefront of a like to the forefront of everyone's shit. Like now we're talking about it because it's like of pop culture, kind of. Yeah, right. That's yeah. Uh, it made voting popular. I don't even know if that's true. It just feels that way. Like a yeah. lot more people are talking about politics now. Yeah, a, a lot more people that are that I know are talking about that. Maybe that yeah. came with age, but I really think it's because of the election. Uh, but I think that during that election. There was a lot of back and forth because it was like there was a lot of blood being spilled. That's the thing, and if yeah. you found out, and and, and yo, know, honestly, it wasn't until that election that I found out, like, oh, I don't fuck with this person because they would say things, right? Because it was so pinned against each other. It was so like Democrat Republican. I mean, it always is, but it was no, it was way a more. This it, was, time. it was a bloodbath this time. It yeah. was basically bloods and crips. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like it, it was, was crazy. It was, it it was like, tough. oh, you're with that? Like fuck! And it was like they're screaming, and there's a lot of back and forth, a lot yeah. of radical opinions and shit. To the point where I would hear some of the things that people that I know yeah. would say. Yeah. And I'd be like, whoa. Like, I didn't even know you, like, felt that way, you yeah. know? And, like, that's when I became, that's when I started to realize, like, oh, yo, dude, like, fuck this person. You I'm know? saying, but, see, it could affect your relationship. I'm not saying that you're going to But that's because complete... people are, would step out of their, uh, like, their, their character. Right. Because... I think what Trump did was like fire these people up and be like, oh, finally, we got someone who doesn't care. And yeah, yeah. Says shit. Yeah. And it's like, so they felt like they could just like express themselves in a way. And I was like, that I didn't really enjoy. So I'd be like, yo. To dude, take like, it back by it a little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to, if someone tells me they're a Republican, I'm not like, ill. Like, I'm not, like, it's like, you know, people have their political views. Like, whatever. Right. Some people are Republican for 50 fucking years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, all I ask is you, you not say weird shit around yeah. me and i'd be like i'm turned off now. but see that could that could listen you're not going to cut them off fully but a party is going to be like eh, it makes sense don't want to hang out with them right yeah and it has nothing and it has nothing to do with politics it's just the politics is the is the like entry point for them to say weird shit it's the like yeah it's like uh it's like when they start talking about immigration it's the smoke screen for instance, immigration, right? That's a bit that was a big political point this whole time. So someone the point the the topic of immigration comes up yeah. and then you could start hearing people talk about immigration and then getting progressively racist in all their statements and you're like, <laughs> "Yo, dude, what the fuck are you talking like, like a you know? dude you known for 20 years He's like, "Yeah, but they shouldn't be here though." You're just yeah, like texting like yeah. not even looking. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, "Dude, what are you talking about?" Yeah, she's like, "Yeah, they're all fucking disgusting." And you're like, <laughs> "Dude, what the hell?" Like then you that's what I mean by like, be like, "Yeah, they're like taking our jobs though." I'm just like, like they like that's the thing and, and and you know that's that's just how I feel about it like I, I don't hate any like re anyone because of their political views I can't as long as people. it's not attached with these like hateful things I'm like I don't care but like don't like yeah like that dude that drove that van into all those people and killed them I hate you what you don't remember that oh in Times Square no that was fucking crazy too the guy yeah. that drove his van in, in like oh yeah in like uh in Virginia or something yeah I do remember that like I hate you but you know what I mean yeah the radicals radicals scare me. yeah they're scary people dude scary but, but yeah. there's radicals on both sides did you see that guy that yeah dude there is did you see that nurse that was walking to work and people were like standing they were like like they were chanting something like blocking people and people were like burr, burr. this guy's walking by just rips their big ass sign throws it over a wall and just goes people have to go to fucking work <laughs> that guy was late dude. that dude was late and yeah. having a rough day yeah yeah and then people were like yeah like kind of like oh this is this, uh, the hero we didn't know we deserved oh man i never understood that what don't make me late for work <laughs> It's like, listen, I know you're trying to get your point across, but it's like, yo, if I have to tell my boss that I couldn't get here 
because six people were standing in the road. It's going to be a bad conversation. Nah, it doesn't really go over well. I, I just don't, you know, my biggest thing is like, like I said, that, I mean, that's my opinion. If you, like your political views, like are your political views, like the way you think about foreign trade and immigration, like those are your opinions. Right. But if they're just not hateful and they're also opinions, just, and if they're also like not backed up by like factual and statistical information. Yeah. Like a lot of people you can just <laughs> tell, like have political views because it's like yo you heard all this from your racist uncle yeah that's usually what it is and it's like you heard this at christmas and now you're repeating it so you could be part of the conversation yeah. like, you sound crazy yeah you know what i mean but it's the same thing with with uh people like the democrats some of them they say some shit and you're like dude what are you like <sighs> yeah everybody uh, there's a there's, there's zero understanding in politics like no one could be like you got a point or like, you know, I, I kind of understand what you're saying. I don't necessarily agree with it, but I, I understand how you got there. And like, that's cool. It's always just like, fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck. fuck. And it's, yeah. it's like, yo, you guys are like children. Right. It's just, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. I could fuck a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was looking for. <laughs> anyway, if Oprah's a Republican. If Oprah's a Republican, I'll blow that ass out. God damn. <laughs> that was. Heavy. You wouldn't fuck O-Dog? Oh, I me, mean, yeah. I'm a thrasher, dude. Crack phone and all. But you could tell somebody's financial situation sometimes if their phone is fucked up. Like, you're a dude, right? And you go out to the club and you try to get a number and your screen is all cracked. I think girls are going to look at that a certain way. Especially if your belt's on fleek. Yeah, if your belt's on fleek but your phone's on fuck. You know? If you, if, if you were a girl. Not getting no suck. If you were a girl. Yeah. And a guy came up to you and was like, hey, can I get your number? Just put it in my phone. And the shit was all cracked up. I bet you, you're you gonna type th- it in. You're I'm gonna, not trying to get a splinter. Yeah, you're going to think differently. I don't know. I think you will. I think you will. I'd be more looking at his fingernails. Dirty fingernails, big tail. Yeah. If a guy's fingernails are... <sighs> fingernails. Yeah, hey, baby. <laughs> fingernails, my fingernails. If guy's fingernails are dirty... Should probably stay away. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, were you just digging? <laughs> like, why Why is your shit dirty? I hate when there's, like, guys in delis that have, like, the long pinky. That's for Coke. I know, but it's just, like, could be more obvious. Or the long thumbs to split blunts. Yeah. It's like, dude. Like, why do you have one long pinky? Cut your disgusting nail off. Yeah. yeah. Do you like cocaine that much? And can we create something better than a nail clipper that's just going to send your nails into the abyss? Why is there can, not a nail clipper that has a thing attached to it like a lawnmower? It doesn't make any sense. Like, just have the thing, and it goes in. Yeah, and like a little, or maybe a little suction thing at the end. When it clips it, it sucks it up. Okay. Like a little like a little finger vacuum. It would be cute. Cute. It would be. I, I see what you're saying, but. I just don't like going, all right, fucking gathering fucking shrapnel like seashells. Where do you clip your nails? I clip them outside. You go to the outdoors. Well, on my terrace. And you clip it over the streets of Manhattan? No, 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 no. I, I clip them on my terrace, and then I just spray it down with the hose, and it goes, like, under my terrace and down the drain. Oh. Where do you clip your nails? Over either over the sink or the toilet. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. You know I only clip my... Fingernails? No, my toenails. I give them one, and then I just rip them. Yeah. I and do that. They, I do that from time to time. And they work clean. Yeah. Have you ever smelled your toes? Uh, no. Next time you clip your toenails. Smell my toes? Smell your fucking fingers. Wait. What? Clip my toes and then smell my fingers? Yes. Why? You'll see. And what am I smelling? My toenails? Yeah, they're disgusting. My toenails smell... Toenails are disgusting. Yeah. Think about all your sweat and old, like, cotton that you get from socks socks and all that. Then you get a little bit of that toe jam in there. I don't have any toe jam. Yeah, but like, I'm not saying a lot, it's, but there's some in there. Toenails are disgusting smelling. At least I think. Yeah. Do you bite your nails? I used to all the time. I clip them now. And I also get them done. You know what I just thought of? What? Do you remember, some, <laughs> remember in like fourth grade or like sixth grade, someone come up to you and be like, yo, check your nails. Oh, yeah. And he'd be like, if you check your nails like this, you're gay. <laughs> you're gay? I'm like, what? And then it was like a game. This was the worst one. Got him. Yeah. 
What'd you get? I don't know. What'd you get from me? This this is this is like everyone's like, if you do this, you're gay. This one's safe, and I'm like, this one isn't that like much manlier. If we're just going by those kind of rules. Yeah. What if I was just like, don't worry about it. That's manly and tough. Or like, what's the manly way to check your nails? <laughs> <laughs> look good. <laughs> they look good. Fucking gouge somebody's eyes out. What the fuck? You tell me. You tell. <laughs> you fucking tell me. You fucking, <laughs> fucking shaking their head. Like a zombie. Check them out. Why don't you tell me? Yeah. That's strong and gay. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's Queen of England. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> tell me right now. Yeah, that's what I thought, pussy. Nice. I felt like I was there. Yeah. Pussy doesn't make me, like, a pussy. I'm, I'm talking about, like, being called a pussy. Pussy I, is does everything. Oh, uh, I was going to say, yeah. wh- where are we going? Confession? Like, if someone came out and was like, yo, you're a fucking pussy. I don't think I'd be upset. I just, I, jost- I, I I just jostled for table position. You took it right back. Did I? <laughs> yeah. If someone called me a pussy, I'd almost be in agreement with them. I'd be like, you know what? I wasn't sure, but now that I'm getting a second opinion, I think I'm on your side here. What would you do if a dude was just like, yo, your mom's a fucking bitch? I'd be like, Jesus. I'd be like, dude, relax. I I laugh in those situations, which isn't good, because it, it usually almost gets me punched in the face. But I really do think those things are funny. But it's like, I don't know this guy. He definitely doesn't know my mom. And he just thinks it's going to rile me up to be like, yo, your mom. And I'm like, I'm, it's not 1990. And yeah. I'm not like, I also yo, like your this- mom's a bitch. I'd be like, yeah, if you asked me at eight, I'd agree. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> at, at, at one point she was. What of it? What of it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like, if someone calls me a pussy or, or a bitch, yeah. I'm not going to be like, I must defend my manly honor. Yeah, I, I have none. I must prove to thee that I am thy man. of a man. Yeah, I, I'm. Let me. I'll, I'll, just to warn everyone straight up. I am a bitch. Yeah, and I'm a <laughs> fucking pussy. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Just don't touch me. Yeah, because if you touch me, I'm very angry now. Yeah, or touch anyone that's around me. That, See, like, I, I know. Yeah, like if if anyone could literally say anything to me, and I now if care, you call me a, a home low, a home low, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be very upset. Very upset, yeah. You know what I mean? Now you're calling me you're calling me poor and gay. Yeah, a home low. You gotta pick one. Right. Yeah. But no, no you know how it is. I d I don't think as long I, as would. I don't get touched. Like I, I think that like I can go a little insane when people touch me. Like I don't like when people touch me. What do you like if someone calls you stupid? The fuck? what is it? What are they, nine? No, no, no. Like a, like if a close friend called you stupid. I would think that's funny. I don't know. Or like it's weird when close friends try to hurt your feelings. If like a business, if a if in business, yeah, like something like that. Oh, if if in business someone called me stupid, I'd probably lose it. I would. That's like, what I'm saying. Phys- I wouldn't physically harm anyone. No, but, but I but, would go crazy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. A part of your ego would get. It's it's different situations that affect your ego differently. Yeah. Like if I don't know you and like you call me like a fucking stupid bitch, like I'm gonna be like, all right, man, okay. But like if if one of my friends called me that, I'd be like and like meant it. I'd be very upset. Yeah. You know, it, it's like there's levels to it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You know what I'm saying? Like, if me Stupid and you, bitch is hilarious. Yeah, if me and you are like a uh, dumb idiot. I like dumb idiot or s- stupid idiot is good. Dumb idiot. You dumb idiot. The idea of dumb idiot affecting a 30-year-old man is funny to me. <laughs> we call her dumb idiot. You call me a dumb idiot? Me and my cousin used to call each other dumb idiot all the time. <laughs> it's fucking hysterical. <laughs> fucking dumb idiot. Um... Like, if we were in a meeting, right, and you just pitched me something, mm-hmm. and I just went, that is so dumb. You are stupid. <laughs> You're going to fucking lose your mind. I've lost my mind for, for way less in meetings. That's what I'm saying. Like, like You're going to have vendetta for that person. It's like, I'm going to fucking ruin you. Yeah. There was a time where I was trying to do something, and I was in a meeting with Greg. Uh, Somebody called you dumb? No, no, no. Oh, my God. I'd be so mad. No, no, no. I'd be in jail. Uh, <laughs> no, but I um, I was in a meeting at William Morris with my agent and Greg, and we were talking to these people, but they were on a screen because they were in L.A. Uh-huh. And uh, I I had told Greg, because, I mean, not even trying to sound cool, like in, in meetings, like it almost is a, is a to my fault that I'm so like on edge and very feel, I feel like, like I'm going to do what I want. Like none of you know anything. 
right. kind of person. So like you're like a meeting asshole kind of. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm I'm nice until like you're. you're That's just like a better word. I'm not calling you an asshole. No, I know, but it's just it's literally like I know what I came here to do. I'm willing to listen to everyone. I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything. Right. But as soon as you start like undermining the shit I'm saying or just like literally like subtly trying to be like, yeah, good idea, but we're going to do something different. And, and you we're, just and then, start boiling. Yeah. I start, it, it makes me very upset because I'm like, I know what you're trying to do. And like, it's not going to happen here. Right. Uh, but there was a thing that I, and I had told Greg beforehand, I was like, yo, don't, I was like, yo, I'm, if I start like being weird or like loud, you know, it's, I'm, I'm not like whatever. Like this is just, I just gave him like a little whatever. Sit back and watch. So we went to a meeting and uh, I was I said I don't want to say what the meeting was about because it's something that could potentially happen also, uh, but I was like oh yeah I'm not I, I I before they even brought it up I was like I'm not really interested in blah 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 right right I was like I'd rather do blah 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 so I told him like I'm not interested for for that. And I was like, I, and I'm not going to change my mind on that. Like me and Greg had talked about it. This is what we want. Don't waste your time. Don't waste hours. Yeah, because I'm also a person. I'll go down with the ship. I'll make it. I'll make whatever it is by myself with no money and no backing and just put it out on YouTube if I need to. Right. Because I just want to do what I want to do. Right. I don't care about your fucking whatever. Yeah. So they immediately, as soon as I was done talking, introduced a different a guy who was there. And he's like, oh, this guy represents our blah, blah, blah department. And I'm like, and I, I feel Greg just like, look at me. And I'm just like, you know, I'm not saying anything. Yeah, be cool, fool. So I'll, they they brought it up. So then I, I was again calm, like, oh, you know, but we really aren't interested in, in like blah, blah, blah. It's not really going to change or anything. And then they brought it up again. Uh, and then I, I just I just see my agent do this. Super tight. Like I just, yeah, see, yeah. I just see him touch his head. And then I, I look at him and I go, is this a microphone? Because they have these little things that come out of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Microphones. And he goes, yeah. So I just moved this thing out of the way and I leaned in. And now I'm yelling into this microphone at these people who I don't know in LA. And I'm like, I'm not fucking doing this. Yeah. I don't. I didn't say fucking. But I was like, I'm not doing this. Right. Like, we're not going to do it. Good for you. Stop talking about it. Yeah. Because like I, I, you bring it up twice. Like I preemptively said we're not doing it. Then you brought it up. I was like, oh, hey man, we're not doing it. Then you bring it up again. It's like, now what do you think I'm fucking like? Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of insulting your intelligence. At that right, point. and it's just like it's it's just frustrating because yeah. like, these people I know they're in the business of making money. They're just doing their jobs, and I'm not screaming at them. I'm just screaming at the fact that like, dude, I'm really trying to be nice about this and tell you like I'm not one of these people that you're just gonna like coax into doing something. Right, I'm not gonna become your bitch here and do what you want me to do. So I just had to like. I was like, dude. And yo, there was another time I went to a meeting. I want to hear about all these horrible, like, great meeting stories. So when I was... Because the meeting's horrible. No, but that but was... But the content is great. The, yeah. <laughs> but the, there was another time where I was... When I was younger, I was really an asshole. Where'd you get this, like, asshole trade? Did you just, like, see it in a movie and you're like, I'm going to be like that guy? No, I think it I think it was just kind of like... Um, I, w- I did everything myself and I never wanted to, like, come up off anybody. And I felt like all these people were... Damn, gonna- son me. We're going to... <laughs> <laughs> Oprah sunning people? You sunning me now? No, I'm saying when I was younger. I'm fucking, I had this, I'm fucking with you. I had, this idea, I had this thing in my mind of like, I'm just going to do all this for my mom's basement and like, that'll be it. And like, I know what I'm doing and my vision is what I want to do, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I thought that everyone was out to just kind of just fuck me in a way. So I would do these things. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. Because <laughs> you thought sex. Yeah, I thought sex. Uh, but I, so I would just do these certain things. Like one time I went to, like this I probably got from a movie, but I showed up to a meeting in sweatpants once. And I just brought Impy. That's a power move. I brought Impy. Yeah. I'll tell you when I made up my mind too. Because this, this was a production. This I can talk about. I love that. But, I love that you showed up in fucking, I would show up in a rope. See, I would never do that now. Because that's like extremely unprofessional. I think I was just being a little asshole. Yeah. But like I was got, like 20 years but old. But that's cool though. Uh, I didn't think it was cool. I think it's awesome. At the time, like when I left, I was like, uh, uh, like I didn't really like it that I did that. <laughs> but I was just like, you know, whatever. Also, just, you never wear sweatpants. Like <laughs> I would have loved to see the outfit. It was not a great outfit. <laughs> But but I brought Impy with me because he had just gotten out of class. And I was like, yo, come with me to this meeting. Dead ass. So we sit down on this table, and I'll tell you when I made up my mind. I sat down in their office, and it was a production company. They wanted to talk about doing some like TV show or some shit. Yeah. I sit down, and there's two Emmys on the, the, the table in front of me. I knew then and there. Fuck these people. Right. I was like, I know these aren't here. Yeah. Like, that kind of shit bothers me so much because it's like... 
do you think I'm like dumb? Yeah. Or do you think I'm like a like like that just it makes me like try the big dig big dick you a little bit. Not big dick me, but just insult my intelligence being like I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to be like, oh my God, they got Emmys, dude. We should listen to everything they say. Yeah. Like that bothers me that you thought that you could even play me like that. Right. So I immediately, I was just like, oh, I was pissed, dude. Did you say anything like bad in the meeting? No, I didn't. Were you I just didn't, like, no. coy, they, like I can't wait to get out of here. No, yeah. Because they, they were they were nice. They were right. nice people. Right. And like they were listening to what I was saying and, and blah, blah, blah. But I, in the back of my head, I was just like, this is so tacky and gross. Like, why would yeah. you do this? I know these aren't here. Business Joe gets angry. Personal Joe, not much. Yeah. I rarely get angry out loud, though. I only get angry out loud when people just don't listen to what I'm saying. Because yeah. I'm willing to listen to you. And if you say something I don't agree with, like if I come to you and I'm like, hey, man, uh, I, we're I, not going to. I do, I do this to Joe all the time, by but, the way, but, on purpose. But listen, <laughs> if I'm saying to you like, yo, man, uh, I don't want to do video podcast. And then you go, all right, that's fine. But, you know, I think that. And, and then you present a point of being like, I understand you want to do it. I just want to let you know that like, you know, with video, it could, you know, the revenue and like it, it works for marketing and like blah, blah, blah. That's me saying this? Or just anybody. Oh, okay. I'm saying how those conversations work. Like All I'm right. not the type of person to be like, did you hear what I said? I'm not fucking doing it. Like I'll listen to your to what you're saying, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll listen to it. But then after hearing what you say, I'll very nicely be like, I understand that. I'm just very not interested in it because of blah, blah, blah and explain why I don't want to. Right. And then if you go again... And, and start going into it again. And then I'm thinking like, did you not just hear my entire reasoning behind that? Right. Even though you gave me all the information and now you're repeating yourself. Right. Like that's going to change things. Now I'm getting upset. What if it's a good follow-up question though? That's what I'm saying. I'm willing to have a conversation. Oh, okay. Because it's right. not like I know everything. I right. have an opinion and I have a, like I'm, I'm, sh I'm, I hold on to my opinions. But if you have a good point, I will change my mind. Right. Which I have changed my mind recently about something involving podcasting because of something. I went to someone and was like, yo, I'm not really interested in doing this. And they brought up a, a, like a great point with everything. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Right. Because it was a great point. But I'm, I'm not like I know everything. It's just that when you start to disrespect me and like I said this and then I get your point and then I'm saying like, dude, I'm really not interested. And it's like, you know, it's like now you're dealing with a fucking telemarketer and you're like, dude, shut the fuck. Stop fucking calling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't want to fucking. No, I could see that. I could see that. Especially when your mind's made up about something. And that's just what happens. That's what happens in, in those meetings because people yeah. are like, this is what we want to do. This is what's going to work for us. This is our marketing budget. This is what the vision and this is the shows that have. Uh, that have been made before. Let's make it more like this or like, let's, here's, here's a, a, a YouTube channel that you should try and, and it's like, I don't care. Like, dude, Shut save up. your breath. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. Would you say you enjoy arguing though? Like it's something you like to do? No. When it, when the opportunity presents itself, I'm not saying like you're going out there just being like, who wants a piece? No. You know what I mean? Do I enjoy I read three books yesterday. <laughs> let's go. No, but like, if if the opportunity comes up for this for argument's sake literally yeah would you like say it say what like is is uh, there's some people that just argue opposite opinion just to do it right now are you one of those people that is that will do that or does do you really have to honestly feel a certain way I, I do not like arguing. You know, you not, know what I'm saying, though. Yeah, like, no, no, I like, do. There's people that would be like, yeah, well, if you think... I'm like, yo, dude. Nah. You don't even feel that way. Yeah. You I, know? I'm not one of those people. I, I, I have my opinion, and it can be changed uh, by anyone who brings up a good point. But if you... Like... I... I guess I hear what you're saying where it's like, I don't like to argue. But if I am now being like, oh, I'm going to argue this. Yeah. Like, it's like playing a sport. Cause I'm, I'm ready to fucking go. Yeah. And like, I have my opinion. And once I know, like if I start an argument and I start getting fired up, like there's no way you're changing my mind now. Yeah. Because I've already passed the point of like trying to understand your point, you know, because but like, you I, won't try to understand their point. Cause you're like, I'm just going to be a dick to you now. No, 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 no. Or, or, or it's just like, I'm so locked in now. The, the, in the beginning, I'll have a, a, a very calm conversation Yeah. and, and get to like the heart of all their shit. You know, like, oh, why do you think that? And why do you think that? And eventually get to the bottom of it. So are you developing answers to like their things? Like as they're like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to stuff. Yes. You don't want to expose your hand too early. Yeah. You're, I don't want to preemptively explode and then look like an idiot later. So you're like that poker player that wins a hand, but doesn't like slow slip playing. His, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
and then doesn't show his cards it's after like, he wins. Yeah, dude, I'm just checking the entire time. It's like, oh, why do you feel that way? Check. <laughs> you know? Check. And then I'm just like, all in. What'd you have? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I beat you. I know I beat you. I see. I see. Yeah. Because, I, because I, like I said, I, I know that I like some of the shit I just said like could come across as me feeling like I have my opinion. No one's going to change. Like, I feel the very opposite. Like, to the contrary. Like, I feel like I can be swayed. If you bring up a good point, I will be swayed. But I can confirm that. I I but when I have an opinion and I'm like, yo, this is what we're gonna do, and then someone has a like a Right, you know, or whatever, and they're like, Oh, but this and this and that and I was like, Yeah, I know, but we're not gonna do it that way, we're gonna do it this way. And they're like, Yeah, but you know, blah 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 and I'm like, I know, but we I you know, this is this is what I'm going to do. Right. That's when I like the third one is usually when I'm like this is what's gonna happen. Now I'm telling you. Yeah. Now, yeah. now I'm not like being nice about it. Like I'm saying, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. And then they go again. Now I'm fucking mad. Yeah. Now I'm like, okay, dude. Yeah. Like that's fuck that's, that's, no. that's that's worse than like someone calling you a pussy or a bitch. Yeah, and that very rarely happens, by the way. Getting all called a pussy or a bitch? No, no, no. I would hope so. <laughs> I was gonna say all the the meeting stuff. Like I would say ninety percent of my meetings go very well, and it's very yeah. smooth, and it's like great. But the ten percent where you're dealing with these people that think they know everything and like blah blah blah, and they think, oh, you know, we got our finger on the pulse. It's like I don't give a well, fuck. Well, then it's also like not a meeting. It's just they're calling you in to tell you what to do. Yeah, and I'm very big on mutual respect too. Yeah, and like I'm not gonna walk into this meeting and you and you start leveling the conversation of like I'm this guy, you're here. How do we? And I'm like, right. okay, right. Before you start, fuck you. I think you've gotten better with that, though. I think you've become a more understanding person as I've gotten to know you. I've... Like, not understanding to the point, it's like, I don't understand, like, <laughs> why these immigrants are here. I'm not <laughs> saying like that. I'm saying in terms of, like, um, I I can never be wrong. Yeah. No, I... Yeah. I, yeah. You know? And I, 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 I will... But you can't lose that fully, though. No, but I admittedly Because then you become that. a pussy bitch. I... <laughs> I admittedly was that person for a little while there. You got to be like that sometimes. But I had no one uh, uh, on, on top of me who was like, you know, could help me out. Because like my parents and like my older brother right. were like the ones who would always keep me in line for shit. Yeah. But like we were dealing with a world that didn't even exist yet. Like there was no YouTubers. There was no whatever. So it was like, we, I don't know how to help you or how to guide you because there's nothing. So I was the only one learning. Yeah. The only one who cared enough to learn because I was doing it. So I had to listen to no one. And I don't live in L.A. around all these people. So right. I was the only one who was doing it. Yeah. So for a while, I was just kind of like, you know, you would have advice on what to do. It's like, dude, how do you know? You don't You do not do it. You right. don't know. Yeah. How do you know? So it, that, I think, you know, eventually got away from me when you're fucking 22 years old and, you know, everything's like working I out. I think when you're 22 and, like you said, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you feel like nobody can tell you shit anyway. Yeah, so I think I did go through a phase of that, but I'm definitely not that way anymore. I th yeah, we all go through phases like that, though. Yeah, I would, I would even say now I feel like I don't know what the what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing for uh, you know all advice, but at in this a point. in a good way. Yeah, I think that it, that means that I'm trying to grow and progress. Like I, yeah. at this very moment, I literally don't know what to do. That sounds exciting, though, to me. It is. It is exciting. I have like, I have an idea of what I want to do. Right. Yeah. And like now, it's like working towards that idea. But as far as the, the necessary steps to get there, I'm unsure of what the steps are. I just know I'm moving a so, little bit. So now you're the person that doesn't know. Yeah, I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> See? Circle of life. All comes full circle. Circle of death. life. That's good, man. I mean, you've done a lot. In your young life. This is a good woman. Oh, happy birthday to my grandma in heaven. Yeah, yo. Way. Happy birthday to Joe's grandma in heaven. My my grandma's birthday is today. Um, Man, I don't even know when she died, to be honest with you. Shout out grandma, though. Shout out grandma. She was awesome. Gangster. Oh, we talked about my grandma yeah, before. She fell and her whole face fell off, basically. Yeah, and yeah, dude, like, dude, there was meat hanging from her chin. She's like, I got to babysit these kids. She's like, give, she me, like, give me she some like, peace. She put a napkin on it. I was like, hey, Grams, Savage. how about some stitches? Savage. Yeah, she was a maniac. Oh, I'm also speaking at my school tomorrow. Oh, what are you talking about? Just about like dealing with uh, anxiety and depression, some uh, some alcohol stuff, and some drug stuff. But I'm not going to go in there and just be like, hey, guys, what's up? Don't do shit. Yeah. You know, because I feel like every time I've had like assemblies like that, the guys that always got through to me were like, if you were more realistic. Yeah. It's like not not every story needs to be like, listen, man, like 
I was banging hair on in my dick and I got into a car accident. And and you're a like, guy, damn, I'm never going to do that. Yeah, and a guy pulled me out and resuscitated me and, and then I'm, I'm here now. You know, like everyone's story is kind of different. So, you know, and also like what I do pr- for a profession is it's different. So mm-hmm. it's not like some dude that's like, all they do is go around and tell the, you know, the story, the story, you know, and, uh, you know, it, it touches on a lot of stuff in terms of like, I'll talk to them a lot about my battles with anxiety and depression and, and, and panic attacks. And then just also some battles that I've had with alcohol and, and drugs and, you know, did you write anything or are you going to just like freestyle off the dome? Um, I have, I have bullet points that I'm, that I'm going to use. You got a papes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have some, but like, I'm not going to go and pull it out and be like, number one, how much time you got? Don't suck cock for drugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Number two, don't suck pussy for drugs. Unless <laughs> they're hot. You know, no, nah, I'm not going to like do it like that. It's just like, how much time do you got? uh like 40 minutes damn dude but um the 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 kid some of the kids that what I'll time be, nine o'clock in the morning you can come if you want kind of yeah let me know do you want me to tape it for you you can if you want because like i just want to i think like this is definitely something i um i'm i'm taking seriously I don't know how to tape it. But I, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, I don't, I don't want oh, them to audio. feel like it's just like a content thing. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. You know, like, just be like, oh, this guy's like filming this for content. I still think that it would be cool to go. Is anyone going with you? No, you can come. No one's going? No. Come. Oh, I'll go with you. Yeah, then. come. Um, it's just like, come, you come, know, come, 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 come. And I'm, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm also speaking to uh, an alternative school program that I was in when I was there. So it was basically like all the kids that were fucked up went to the school program. Nice. So like I'm also like talking to those kids and like having a little one on one session with some of those kids that are That's going up. through some stuff. So it should be fun, you know. Nice. And I just want to show. I just want people to understand like you don't have to be like so rock bottom to have problems, you know? Because like people be like people like to say be like yeah, but you didn't drink that bad, <laughs> or like you didn't do that much coke. Yeah, but it's like, dude, it was like it was stuff where it was ruining my life. Yeah, you know, it doesn't that, have to be anything like that. It could be, it could be like whatever. that's what I'm saying, dude. It's Everything like, in moderation. That's what it is, and like you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah, until they throw stuff at me. Yeah. Oh man, I'd rather I just want one kid to be like, "Yo, shut the fuck up, bitch." <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "Damn, it's fire, <laughs> you dumb idiot." <laughs> I used to curse at teachers. This teacher that I'm speaking for, I told him to shut the fuck up once. Damn, dude. Yeah. You should tell that story. I'm going to say it. Yeah? Yeah, 100%. Are you going to curse? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. Damn, I'm hyped now. Yeah, I'm going to keep my fucks limited, but my shits I can rock with. I'm going to go very like shit heavy. AMC. Shit heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Comedy Central shit heavy. One fuck per season. Yeah, one fuck per commercial break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna keep it like that. But I'm just gonna keep it as real as possible and tell them honestly what I was doing to myself. Yeah. And what I dealt with, and go. F- and we will go from there. And we will go from there. Yeah. Sweet. All right. And I'd still fuck Oprah. Yeah, I mean that's the moral of the story here. <laughs> that's all it comes from. Yeah. But. Circle of life. Circle of life. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all. We've been recording for some time. How long? Guess. Hour forty three. 53 wow yeah good for them bad for me (laughs) (laughs) uh yeah oh yeah big big one uh yeah so where can they find you you can find me um at daniel priori on instagram and twitter and please make sure to go check out the stank podcast with me and mr frank alvarez great guy some people say he looks like jason momoa i see it joe doesn't no um (laughs) Uh, but you can go check us out on Instagram at the Stank Podcast, and also on YouTube, the Stank Podcast, and we also have a Patreon, and you can go check that out as well. Patreon dot com slash the Stank Podcast. Guys, go also check out uh, other people's lives, which is another podcast show that I do to my buddy Greg. Uh, I said do to my buddy Greg that I do with my <laughs> buddy Greg. Uh, we call up anonymous uh, people, and they tell us like really cool and informative stories about their fetishes or like crazy experiences they've had or whatever. When did you guys decide that you would do a seasonal format? Because uh, kind of, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it was the first season. It's we like did episodic. Like, we did like 17 episodes in a row and then we started to learn that 
we wanted to take time in between seasons so that we can get really good calls. Because sometimes you get a call and like either the story wasn't what you thought it was going to be or the, the audio is really bad yeah. or they're a bad interviewer because it's hard to be like good at interviewing, you know? Yeah, they're nervous. Yeah, so people get nervous. So it's like if it's not good, we don't want to post it. So we, yeah. we take a break. But we're back. We're in season. Go check it out. Other people's lives. It's um, nice. It's OPL Podcast on Instagram and then other people's lives on uh you know, iTunes yeah. and stuff. So go check that out. And the other thing too, you don't want to like worry about like, yo, we have a dude that like only has sex with mannequins. The next week is like a guy that collects grasshoppers. Yeah. Yeah. You like, you don't want to just like, collects grasshoppers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you want to keep uh, it cool. Yeah. Um, grasshoppers also, are cool though. Yeah. I love grasshoppers. Uh, go check out our, our Instagram at the basement yard. Uh, <laughs> On Instagram. <laughs> um, and uh, our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash the basement yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.